Hello and welcome to the Legendary Frogcast Play D&D Together. I am your host and DM, Joseph Blanchett. And uh, we did kind of officially start this campaign in, during our session zero, which we put up. Uh, but this is episode one of our Strixhaven, a Curriculum of Chaos campaign. Uh, this is going to be another big one. It's one that I've been kind of talking about for, for over a year now, but we're finally getting around to running it. Um, it's kind of a mix of some of uh, players from kind of all of our games that we have going on in this friend group. Uh, kind of mix, mixed together, even though most of them have played together before. Uh, we do have some new members here. Uh, so for the kind of the regulars, we have, um, we have Bryce, who's playing uh, an orc barbarian named Brick Hardcastle. Uh, Dustin is playing a fallen Asimar cleric named Erikos. And Randy is playing a half drow warlock named Louis Sula. He actually played this character a little bit in one of our previous campaigns. This is kind of like a younger version of her. Um, from our Wild Beyond the Witchlight game, uh, Jess is playing a centaur rogue named Valerie Redmare. It's actually the uh, child of um, Mark's character and her character from Witchlight. So that's kind of fun there. And... Uh, First time being on the D and D podcast, but he's he was a regular on on the uh, on the normal podcast in some of the older episodes. We have uh, Kevin, aka Raylith, playing Revia Redscale, a half dragon born, um, half dragon, half dragon born sorcerer, who's um, was actually a kind of an NPC in one of the games we played that wasn't recorded. But this again is a younger version of her. Uh, Kevin has played D and D with us for a while, uh, but he's never been actually been on the podcast. And I thought this was a the perfect game for him to kind of hop in because he's a big Magic the Gathering nerd, you nerd. And um, so you know says, "Hey, come on, come on board. I think you'll fit right in with this group." And uh, of course, he's being his normal real self, and I can't wait for you to uh, get into his shenanigans that he's known for in our other games. But yes, this is Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos. It is a Magic the Gathering setting of a magical school. Um, and they made a uh, D&D book from it about a, a little over a year ago. And I've uh, been looking forward to this for a long time. I know our, all of our players are a, school of, are, are a fan of like the Magic School setting from that other, from that other place, that other IP. But of course, this is going to be better in every single way, I guarantee it. So um, enjoy episode one of Strixhaven, and uh, I hope you stick around to the very end and see how it all concludes. Um, and to get on to some look, couple of other things, um, this is season 10 of the podcast. Um, every time we do a new module, it's kind of a new season. Some are longer, some are shorter. But since it's number 10, I said, well, it's kind of change. It's time for uh, a couple changes. So if you're listening to this on YouTube, you're probably not used to hearing me talk like this because I only put the introductions on the podcast version. So I'm starting to put this on the YouTube version, which also has little talking heads in the corner of the uh, of the characters, so you actually know who's speaking. So it's just not all voice. So it's a little bit of a little more um, immersive in that way. We don't have webcams, but we do we'll have little talking uh, little talking ping tuber heads in the corner there. Um, but also the video version is going up on Spotify who started offering video podcast. Uh, so you can watch the video on YouTube or Spotify. Um, or if you just want the audio version, you still have all the, uh, all the normal ways like, um, like Apple or Google or just listening to it on the, uh, on the website. Um, and as for other games, we're not actively doing any other, uh, D and D games right now, but, um, I think we are going to have a reunion with our Waterdeep Dragon Heist characters pretty soon to run uh, some Keys from the Golden Vault adventures. And um, we'll have to see how things work out, but we might be running the Lost Minds of Fandover with uh, some of the uh, players from the um, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle game. So that's not set in stone, but I, I think it has a good chance of happening um, within the next couple of months. So look forward to that. But while you're all here, the main event, of course, you're all waiting for is Strixhaven, the curriculum of chaos. So enjoy. All right. So everyone, welcome to Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos. 
This is a Yay. Uh, finally I'm talking about this for uh over a year. It's like when the book came out, it's like we're running this, and then you know, we didn't. <laughs> and now here we are. <laughs> we would be running Curse of Strahd right now, but uh Bryce said, Joey, you said we do strict saving. I said, Yeah, I he did. did say who we, we did, and then yep. he t taunted me with it for a year. Yeah, saying sorry, I'm doing a game with other people that I like more. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was in that group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I liked one so much, I brought him over to this group. <laughs> <laughs> but yep, this is um, a magic school setting. Um, it's a one through ten adventure. It's gonna be another uh, another big one. And I'm pretty excited about running it. So for those listening, we had our session zero last week where we ended up doing a little bit of um, introduction RP uh, we will be introducing the characters again though once uh, that point comes but uh, there were, if you didn't listen to that one there was a little bit in a bonus episode you can find on the podcast feed or on the YouTube page so I'd recommend it it's very funny yeah let us get started Okay. Majestic marble archways, tomes, seemingly stacked for miles, and the infectious energy of hundreds of young adults fill the biblioplex, the grand library at the heart of Strixhaven University. The sights, sounds, and spark the sights, sounds, and sparks of magic are in the air and wondrous. As just as you are getting your bearings, the lights dim, and two illusionary spheres form in front of a large curtain in front of a gathering crowd. A booming voice narr narrates the magical presentation that is about to begin. Oh. So you hear kind of a, a sh high pitched, slightly shrill voice, but made deeper by magical means. Recite the following. Ages ago, two planes of opposing magics crashed into each other, forming the world that we know as Arcavios. The two planes fought in an endless blood war, until five dragons were born from the contradictory snarls of magical chaos. These magical beings, beings founded, these magical beings found a union between the conflicting magics that were at war in this world and brought an end to the bloodshed followers of these founding dragons gathered knowledge from the broken world and became the first acolytes of what will become known as Strixhaven as the library grew and grew soon plane walkers from other worlds added to the collection and Strixhaven grew our scholars traveled to other worlds in search of knowledge and Strixhaven grew. And now, 700 years later, as new students, now you are part of that legacy. And the curtain opens up as the uh, illusionary magic disappears, and a, a portly Alwyn in robes steps out from behind the curtain and introduces herself as the, as the lights brighten. The Alwyn, of course, being a owl person. Owl folk. My name is Professor Bavina Sharpbeak, a guidance counselor at the fine College of Silverquill, and it is my honor to welcome you to Strixhaven, the most uh, illusion. Um, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Is it illustrious? Illustrious, yes. The most illustrious school for mages and scholars in the entire multiverse. And she adds with a chuckle. And a library that outshines even Candlekeep. For you find yourself in the storied halls of the Biblioplex, the literal beating heart of Strixhaven. Over the next four years, you will hone your magical skills and pursue studies to reach your full potential as a mage. Lorehold, Prismari, Quadrix, Silverquill, and Witherbloom 
are all fine choices for you to become the best you you can be. Through study, creativity, and determination, I am confident every single one of you will leave your mark here at Strixhaven. However, you won't join one of the five colleges until your second year, but we do encourage camaraderie between first-year students, and that is why you'll be broken up, broken up into groups. You will share a dorm and earn points together throughout your entire academic career. If you excel in your classes and provide good deeds, you will earn points, but disobey the rules, and, you re and it will reflect badly on you and your fellow classmates. Historically, these groups have remained strong friends at their time at Strixhaven and beyond. So our first order of business today during this orientation is to split up all you fine future students into groups. And she will say, and now we shall randomly Select our teams. First up, Team Axebeak. And a number of students steps forward as she begins calling their names. I will not say every student's name because that will take a long time. But they are the people in the That's first fine. the first row here. Then she goes. And now Team Gorgon. The students from the bottom row are called out and named, sorted into a group. And lastly, not lastly, uh, Team Manticore in the middle row is called out and formed into groups. I'm gonna I'm gonna call dibs on Goth Elf GF. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's why I gotta call dibs. All of us. Damn. Dang. It's a cool shotgun. <laughs> and Professor uh, Sharp Beak goes. And finally, oh, is it um, time for this name again? Okay, then. Time for the members of Team Flump. <sighs> and she called yeah. out Brick Nonick Hardcastle. Hailing from the world of Eberron. And Bryce, would you describe your character? Yeah, and a, uh, I guess a standing up, a, a, a big hulking tower of a half-orc um, stands up and just very wide. It, 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 wide as he is tall, that's not really true. But, um... <laughs> I bet it would be yeah, true that's, if we that's, draw him. Hmm? I bet that is true. I, I, you know what it might be um but yeah looks looks like he'd be more at home um in a gladiator arena than a magical school but uh that's that's really the biggest thing that you get from him from for a physical description is Does, is that he is just a big beefy boy does he knock students over when he stands up? <laughs> yeah, he, he pushes the whole bench back that has, you know, 20 or 30 kids on it just so he has room to stand up. <laughs> Big man. <laughs> so as Bricks stands up, it's the first in line. Professor Sharpie goes, Lily Sula Bravara from the world of Toril. And Randy, would you just Describe your character. Well, she's a short half drow, and uh, she stands up, politely bows, and then uh, does a quick two-handed wave to everybody with a little cheery smile. And she, um, it's nice to meet everyone. And she uh, just kind of sits down. <laughs> She continues. Erikos, from right here, from Arcavios. But, uh, Dustin, would you describe your character? Erikos looks like he'd be a not uh, one of them grim emo boys who would 
He's all growly and pouty and Groot and brooding in the corner. And while he was that for quite some time, he came out the other side of it and kind of went and kind of decided, nah, I think I'm going to treat the world like I want to be treated. Nice, polite, and full of life. And you get all that just by looking at him. <laughs> it's a classic lesson, friend. Books don't judge a book by its cover. So he gets up. He gets up, kind of saunters on and just kind of bows and says, Greetings and salutations, everybody. And then just kind of saunters back on down. He's not much for crowds, as it were. Next we have Valerie Redemere from the Feywild realm of Prismere. Jess, will you describe your character? Uh, so there's this... As soon as she hears her name, you just hear... <laughs> like her little hooves on the that was a terrible sound effect her little hooves on the floor as she like get like I'm talking like Bambi on ice oh. you know sort of like she's just so nervous and she's just kind of like still holding her books in her arms and just like she doesn't really get up get up she's not sitting on the bench yeah. or anything obviously <laughs> the very slippery like, library, like the yeah. very slippery library floors and she like looks over at the other three that have been called so far and just like a very meek timid like white people smile <laughs> if you know what I mean that like thin lipped like mm. if you know you know if you know you know yeah. <laughs> and she is a, uh, a centaur but she her... is a centaur but, but she looks more like a deer a deer yeah and um and last but not least Revia Redscale from Toro and oh um it says also from um, from uh, other realms and beyond. Cackle, cackle, cackle. Hmm. But, Kevin, describe your character. All right, so up stands what you would assume would be a dragonborn. However, this dragonborn is far, far smaller and scrawnier than most other dragonborn you would imagine. A typically muscular, stocky, half-dragon race. This... This girl is far more leaner. You would almost say kobold-esque because of her red dragon heritage is showing up a bit bit more off obviously than the other typical dragonborn. Part of her red dragon blood is coming from her mother and giving her her own sorceress abilities. As she stands up, she puffs out her chest and lets loose a gout of flame from her maw just directly up into the sky. Uh, it was, she thinks it's supposed to be more of like an impressive like threat display to show her dominance, but due to her slightly kind of scrawny nature, it's just like a little puff of like <laughs> flame, just like a bah! And then she looks up, clearly with the self confidence that she's showing everyone what's what, and goes sup, and then sits down in a way she thinks is cool, but seems kind of like a pouting like a child would do. <laughs> you students like are surprised. And some kind of like chuckle because they thought it would be a bigger display. But um, Professor Sharpie goes, um, well, now it's time for our one of the first rules of Strixhaven is that um, even innate magical ability, um, you want to keep the fire to a minimum because books are very flammable. But although I, I would believe that, um, school has a much bigger population uh, these will be the students that you can interact with through the year so you have team Axbeak, team gorgon team manticore and team flump which are you mm. hmm. please well, so wonderful little creatures <laughs> please take this time to meet your new best friends and prepare for a little tradition we have here at strixhaven and the owl and gestures in front. As the curtains open up, the owl and gestures up to a magical font of energy behind her, known as the Hall of Oracles. And the newly formed groups begin to excitedly introduce themselves. Welcome to your first day of Strixhaven. 
shall now begin playing. Hooray! All right, so this is the Biblioplex. Oh, so big. The big, the big Biblioplex. So this is the uh, main library here at Strixhaven. Um, she gestured to a font of magic, which is the uh, source of power. Um, that kind of powers all the, the magical things at Strixhaven. It's known as a snarl. It's where those two conflicting magics, when the world formed, they form these magical pockets known as snarls. Which snarl are we under? This is the, the, the snarl of Snarlix. I mean, which color of mana would it be? Or is this just a snarl? I don't think it says. I well, because I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just getting into like my magic lore. It's just like I would assume because each of the houses is like a color pair. That yeah. Unless we're in like one of the main houses, then it's going to be just random kind of magic. Yeah. So the, the the different colleges do have different colors of magic associated with them. We're not going to get into that quite yet. Um. Well, seeing if I can find. We're playing D and D, not magic. Yeah. Who cares about this right now? It's blue. <laughs> Look at it, it's blue. Yeah. But <laughs> a few noticeable. Um things around the biblioplex as you're uh as some students starts walking towards the hall of oracles some start like talking to their their new forms um comrades getting to know them you do see the rows and rows of books um you do see a cafe and a shop near the front of the the part here uh since it's the first day of school there aren't many students here studying like, really none at all, so mostly you see is just the first years doing their orientation stuff. Um, but you do see some, uh, some students up near the top here. Um, kind of like crates of, uh, of supplies. They're start they're beginning to unpack them. But now you can introduce yourselves, um, explore the Biblioplex if you wish, and head to the Hall of Oracles when you're ready. Okay, so I got you guys a gift. I got all I got I got all you guys a gift. Luckily there are four of you and I have four gifts, so it worked out. Oh Alright. Mighty kind of you. Yeah. Cause you're my friends now. As she says this, Revia oh. digs kinda <laughs> who is carrying her stuff and she and she gives each each party member what is a small cloth charm. It's basically a piece of uh, black felt in the center of it. It appears to be like a little fanged tooth that's been sewed around it with red cloth in there. And she basically tells you, this this, this is a dragon tooth charm. I, I got these from a real, well, he, he was, he's, he's like a crappy little dragon, but enough to, you know, show you that you can give some courage, some belief in yourself. And maybe help you out with this school crap. Oh, thank you. I've seen worse team symbols. This will do. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate. I appreciate you. Wait, did you steal this from a real dragon? Did you? Did you get this from a real dragon? Oh no, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you see, th this is from my idiot brother. You see, he was trying <laughs> to sneak into like my stuff. And I popped him in the mouth, and I took his teeth. <laughs> Val was like about to like. Is it on like a like a necklace, or is it like a brooch? It's more of? like it's it's kind of like I would say if you ever seen like a cell phone charm or just oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bag, okay, like okay, just okay. a little piece of cloth, a little string on it, and yeah. it's just kind of a dragon tooth kind of sewn in there. Okay, so well, she's like about a... to like hook it on her I don't know bag or some little like thing she's got on, and then like as soon as <laughs> Revia says she popped her brother in the mouth, Val's just like. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He's an idiot. He has lots of teeth. Yeah, teeth. Don't, don't, uh, Dragonborn, don't their teeth grow back over time? So I don't know. I don't I care. I think that's how that works. There's I, magic. He, he's getting it fixed. We come from a well-to-do family. 
father wouldn't like his idiot son going out there like a toothless yokel. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a toothless yokel. I'm yeah, there Rebbe is. You can't being, eat food. Rebbe being a spoiled, like, the the girl from uh, Clueless <laughs> type. Oh, yeah. This is not what I expected. <laughs> well, I mean... I appreciate the gift and the spirit in which it was given. Yeah. Yeah, good. they're my friends now. Taken by force and good luck. If, if he wanted to hold on to it, he should have tried harder. Exactly. That's what I keep telling him. But he's a little crybaby. He sucks. Hey, this is the uh, excellent symbol of our winning team. I can feel it. Yeah, I like, I like how you think. Any, any team I'm on is going to be the winning team, so exactly. I like how we're starting. Exactly. We've got to show these idiots about who is the superior team, which is clearly us. That's why they gave us the flump, because they're trying to, like, handicap us. I mean, flumps are fine creatures, aren't it? I mean... No man every flump, <laughs> I mean, every flump I've run into has been nice and friendly. How many flumps have you run into? You'll be surprised. <laughs> I mean, I've I've traveled a fair bit, so you'd be surprised how many flumps you've run into. My experience, nice and friendly, doesn't really translate to many points. So, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes a friendly smile gets you farther than a a clenched fist. Lucilla nods in agreement. Just... Yeah, Valerie's like, mm, my dad always Even used to say that killing them with kindness is the best thing you could do. Exactly. Yeah. But he worked in customer service, so I, I don't know if that's the same. <laughs> oh, no, no, that, 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 that full of chicks. So as you're kind of talking, um, a, uh, a human kind of walks up to you, Revia. See him right here. Okay, yeah, just picture. Do you see this? Oh, he looks man? like a douchebag. Undibs, whatever the it. opposite of <laughs> dibs is. <laughs> Can I just throw insight on him immediately? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, oh, no need to tell. He's uh, the villain. No. no, I hope he's a good guy. No, no, he's not the villain. But no, that'd be funny. he has this look. Oh, no. he, he's very um. He's, he looks very well to do, very neat. Oh. Um. But he kind of walks up to you, Revia, and like you see the group that he was with, um, which was. Well, that was the one that had the hot goth GF in. It, I the think middle the middle ones. The the middle ones was the. Gorgons. Are they the mid? Are they the Gorgons? Yeah. So he he's in Gorgon. Yeah. It went top, bottom, middle. Act B, yeah. Gorgon, Manticore. I don't know why I did that in weird order. But yeah, but no, it's, keep it, keep us on our toes. Yeah, so uh, into the group, you kind of, kind of hear um, them say like, "Hey, where are you going? We have, we have stuff to do." And he's like, "Um, it's like, <laughs> gotta find a voice for this guy that fits." He's like, "Um, well, just, just, just give me a minute, give me a minute." And um, you see in his group is uh, a female dwarf with uh, two big puffy pigtails. Green-haired elf, a very tall owlin, and a very large and bulky dryad. Mm -hmm. um, that, that is not a normal build for a dryad, I must say. Yeah, like he could give Brick a, a run for his money. Uh, again, that is very uncommon. But he's kind of um, but but the dryad is just kind of like, just kind of observing everything around him. Like this looks like it's a little new to him, but um. This human walks up to you, Revia, and he goes, Well, I just had to see for myself. You're the one that arrived in that Spelljammer ship in front of the campus. Yeah, that's me. How's it going? My name's Revia Redscale. Perhaps you've heard of the Redscale Trading Corporation. That's owned by father. I'm sure it is. And he takes a little bow. It's like, my name is Grayson Wildmare. I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I roll to see if she has? <laughs> sure. Roll history. All right, let me. Yeah, let me give a history. 
Valerie looks back at, like... Because I'm assuming she, everyone can kind of hear what they're talking about. Yeah. Valerie, like, looks back at, like, everyone else, like, I've never heard of him in my life. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit! First net That's 20! Funny. Um, you would know they come from a rich family here in um, Arcavios. Um, maybe your family's had some dealings with them in the past. Good, thanks for telling me this. Revia responds, yeah. never heard of ya. <laughs> <laughs> Well, perhaps I need to work a little harder for making a name for myself. But my name is Grayson Wildmare, and I just had to meet the person, um, like, who arrived in a... a, a I admit I've never seen a Spelljammer ship before, although I've read about them, and I've just had to, uh, know what you're all about. Well, I'm here because my parents sent me here. Because of my, you know, I can, I can traverse the plains through sheer magical power. I mean... But they, they said, oh, let mother. Mother said that I had to get my powers under control or they'd be the death of me and the family. This so place, that's why I'm here. At this point, he actually takes out a small notebook and begins writing. Planeswalker, you say. Interesting. Yeah, apparently the, the, those go here. Hmm. He takes his notebook, puts it back into his jacket pocket. Well, um... It's not a competition, but we are in the middle of something. I see your your entire group is a little bit behind, so we'll give you some time to catch up. Well, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you see the rest of the group saying, Come on, Grayson, we have we have stuff to find. It's like, yes, yes, I'm coming. And you'll kind of wander off with them. Hey, who wants to bet that that guy eats corn the long way? <laughs> of course he does. That's like a welder bear. That's like a welder bear tradition. Like you saw how you saw you saw how how he's putting on airs. Like like whenever whenever you see someone trying to put on class, you know they have none. <laughs> I don't get it. It's okay. You wouldn't. Oh. What's corn? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you some pornography I've heard, later. I've, I've heard of pup... <laughs> I was about to say, I heard of pup porn. They have it at the Witch Like Carnival. But... Oh, well... But now, but Bryce, but, but Bryce said it's better. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's pretty good. I'm glad I have... No, he gets, gets very good. <laughs> Revia gives Brick a, 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 like a small little clap. Just you like, do, a, like, a, like a well done. You do see as they leave, um, that uh, dwarf girl um, kind of gives you a look, Brick. Kind of looks you up and down before they head off. Hmm. I look right back. She's already gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the goth chick doesn't pay attention to anyone. Damn. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's Fair the quest. <laughs> We'll put her relationship score up like really high, so you have to do a really high roll for her. <laughs> no, that's good because I want I like like Revia the character does not care, but Kevin the player wants to take it so no one else can have it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, more and more of these groups head into the Hall of Oracles, and they uh, very excitedly start coming out and start running and. Just random directions around the biblioplex. So, uh, you you, you guys want to go to the Hall of Oracles or whatever and get 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 zapped? I mean, you that's... don't want to check out the library and see if there's anything interesting to read, or you just want I mean, to head on. Boiler I... alert! There's books. <laughs> yeah, like I think we get because we'll we'll have a lot of time. Yay! It's one of the. There's 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 like days and books. It, it, spoiler alert: a lot of books are garbage. Well, it's not true. I kind of have to agree, but I mean, you've got a point that we've got plenty of time, and this is something we need to do now, I suppose. Unless anyone else wants to like share or impress me with your royal breeding or whatever, like that other nerd did. <laughs> I mean, uh, not really. I mean. Hey, centaur girl, how's your royal breeding? How's how's that going I, for you? I, I, um, my, I, 
I'm not royalty or anything. Yeah, that's really good. You you know your place in this world. I'm very impressed. That's that's uh, quite that's a, that's astounding. Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, my father was my father's a celestial, but I mean, well, that's if, pretty I good. I mean, but he just he seems to spoil me rotten. Some he tries to, but I think it's more that he has to make up for what happened. But that's neither here nor there. Quickly it's moves the subject of my on. Tragic past. Revia gives Erikos like a, no a a confident nod, like she's surprised and impressed because she feels a kindred just of, of the terms of being <laughs> part like greater than like mystical creature. She's like, ah, oh, you you get it, you get what's up. Erikos is intern, like that's not even part of Erikos's thought process. He just brought it up because she brought it up. He's not. He genuinely doesn't care what his lineage is. He just because he's learned that it doesn't really matter. But he's not. He's not saying that out loud because he knows some people. For some people, that does matter, and that's okay. Hey, Drow girl, I'm, do you got any of that spider magic that the Drow's got? I have this, and then she uh, does uh, dancing lights. <laughs> I mean that's that's cool, but but we're Battery gonna need lapsed. some spiders, so get on it. Mm. I want to see spiders. I don't know how to. I don't know how to spiders. That's okay. Spiders are gross. Yeah, I agree. Well, I mean, you got you got time. I mean, we if we have a drow, she needs to have something spider related. Do, do you agree with me, Brick? You agree with me? That's kind of. Yeah, you gotta have the spiders. That's kind of. I don't know playing into stereotypes. Exactly. We have to play into stereotypes so we can subvert them. You see, people like Grace and Wildermere are going <laughs> to have assumptions of you based on stereotypes. And when you least expect him, you subvert him so you can kill him. That's what Mother always says. Grace is going to uh, end up with Revy and this is going to be like a Romeo and Juliet situation. <laughs> and then I, I, I that hate that man! I want to punch his mouth with my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, that's what he thinks. She's just going to stab him. <laughs> just a well, stab. Just, oh, no. To, to anyway. be fair, I, I, um, I, I think you probably know more about Drow than me, honestly. I don't really know much about, well, Drow. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you some lessons. Well, I, I will say that every Drow that I've run into, it, every pure-blooded Drow that I've run into has been fairly unpleasant. Oh. Well, it's I not, definitely but... want to avoid being that. <laughs> oh no, you you seem you seem like a positive ray of sunshine. Well, thank you. Well, I mean, that, typically that's that's due to their their society that in the underdark. But I mean, a drow, it doesn't matter what blood you have, unless you're like a dragon, then it then you're cooler than everyone else. But otherwise, you're all this kind of kind of peasants. Anyway, I want to get zapped. Unless someone else has some some backstory you want to talk about. <laughs> no, yeah, let's go. No, get, um, I think we yeah, well covered it for now. That, that anything I would want, care to share at this time. All right. So welcome to the Hall of Oracles, which in this art is much bigger than what appeared on the map. Oh, goodness. I was about to say, this is the place that was just right behind it that was <laughs> yeah. only, like, ten feet across. Okay. One thing to note is I think these maps are just made realistic to be, like, D&D &D maps. Um, mm -hmm. The magic site I went to describes the big little plex of having its own, like, weather systems. Yeah, like, that right. thing's like a city. That thing's like, yeah. like, like New York City, basically. But it's, it's, it's been struck due to playability. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. It's, it's, ma it's magic. It's bigger on the inside. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the snarl that the professor talked about when the two magical forces of the two worlds kind of uh, connected. They, um, they form these magical pockets and they're very powerful magical energy and one of the larger ones um, is, it was a uh, 
Strixhaven was kind of built around it um, when the library was first formed. So you're, you're walking into like the oldest part of Strixhaven. Um, and not not that to not to backseat or whatever, but from the art, it looks like it's a blue and white, which would make sense because blue is like knowledge and white is kind of order. And sure. if that's sort of the the center of it, yeah. all. perfect yeah. nerd. <laughs> that's why I said it in my voice and not Revia's voice. Because Revia <laughs> said something that nerdy. <laughs> So one one thing that I want to that everyone's gonna be able to notice because Brick is not re, he's not gonna be good at hiding it. He is very clearly impressed at like everything that he's been seeing, but mm. is trying not to look super impressed. By it's it. Trying to be cool in front of the crew. But yeah, I, but yeah, it's it's just not working. I would, I would imagine most people are like very impressed with all of this. I feel like Revia just due to like kind of yep. her her upbringing just thinks it's like hey, I've been to see these. Oh yeah. yeah, Val's from like backwater. Yeah. <laughs> backwater of the Feywild, so she's probably also right beside Brick like yeah. <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> just well, looking at everything. <laughs> but I see Val would be just unabashedly like Oh yeah, but Brick's <laughs> trying to like yeah hide the Ex smile like exactly exactly <laughs> it's it's he's he's just just not that much you know he's seen bigger he's seen better yeah 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 <laughs> but he really has it and that's right. obvious if anyone's paying attention <laughs> i mean ericos has seen like the celestial plane once or twice so it's like so he's seen yeah pretty big like, and pretty wide but <laughs> even he's like yeah you know this is actually pretty neat i like this <laughs> yeah but, Brick is, is from basically a small Texas town. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> so, um, a almost sacroscant sense of calm descends as you step into the Hall of Oracles. Uh, Brilliant. The word is. Yes. The word is sacrosanct. Sacrosanct. Yeah, close enough. I kind of said that. Don't correct him unless you got it right. <laughs> it's a sense of calm descends of you as you step into the Hall of Oracles. Brilliant scholars, says a rich, soothing voice radiating from the Hall's central snarl of glowing energy. Your attention, please. As you are now Strixhaven University students... This storied biblioplex will be your second home for research, studies, and even leisure. There's just one task to accomplish before you officially embark on your academic journey. A scavenger hunt. A small parchment materializes in front of your character. It, pre it uh, presents a list of clues. The rules are simple, the voice says. Each clue on the list will lead you to a different location of the biblioplex. Simply travel to the area for each for each clue references and perform the action the clue suggests. Time is of the essence. You only have until the end of the day to finish your hunt. Solve as many clues as you can, because at each location you may win a prize. Now then, off you go. So you get a list of clues. I wasn't thinking ahead. I would have put it in a uh, in a note. That's okay. Yeah, I'll actually um, do that very quickly. Uh, while we're talking, is is this is this all like the same clues and the same yeah. piece of paper, or is it like personalized? It's um, a split same the clues. team up immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here, just copy and paste what's in here. Make sure I'm not putting spoilers. Copy pasta. <laughs> what kind of magic spell is that? <laughs> oh. All right, you should see that at the top there. Uh, yeah, five clues. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. How do you maximize this thing? Yes, yeah, you can change the size. Ah, got it. Click got it. Word of warning to you people and to everybody listening: don't buy sugar-free Canada Dry. The shit sucks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, that sugar-free Canada Dry is awful. 
Mighty one. You'll forget all about any trouble or plight when you step forward and are ensnarled in light. I think we gotta walk into this big thing in the middle here. I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't. Or do we you see first. other kids? Yo, before, <laughs> do we see yes. other kids doing that? Yeah. Joey. <laughs> You're kind of watching. Um, since you were talking a lot outside, um, all the other groups have already left. Oh, fuck. Oh. Right. Uh, let's Gotta go ahead and close before we start doing anything. So, clue two. Um, alumni commission works when they retire, seeking promises mages to inspire. Clue three. Each group deserves a free treat for their investment. Serve this up, serve up this list, and enjoy your refreshment. That one's easy enough. Uh, clue number four: these leafy be these leafy beds aren't always what they seem. Give them a pat and see what you glean. Clue five: some stars are ancient, enduring, and bright, but others, maybe you, are born on opening night. Oh, I believe there might be a stage nearby. Yeah, the, uh, where those people were were, were um, setting up um, was on a stage. Mm. Well, three is very easy. And I think I know what four means. Well, probably sounds like a bush. Mm. But clue one is um, you'll forget all about any trouble or plight when you step forward and are ensnarled in light. I mean, Revia, that... established dominance, puffs out her chest and begins to walk straight forward toward the snarl. All right, cowards, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Is that thing going to kill you? I mean, I was half joking. I never joke. Awesome. You're going to be a real fun one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you step forward and... um. This is really big on the image, but you do see the, uh, the font um, of magical energy that the snarl is kind of gathering into. Um, and you're able to, uh, you know, do whatever you want with it when you, once you get close enough. Gonna keep walking, gonna like, either, depending on how big it is, like walk into it, or if it's yeah. just something, just dunk her head in it. Yeah, so... <laughs> It kind of looks like there's kind of like overflowing energy from it. So yeah, you stick your hand in one of those. Um, and all of a sudden your body is just overcome with like all this magical energy. And like it's the most magic you've ever experienced in your um, entire life. It's like it's almost overwhelming. And you're like, keep it in there as long as you can. And then you take your hand out. And in your hand is a potion of healing. And yeah, uh, and your uh, your list magically um, kind of crosses out clue number one. So Ooh, you can, you does can it do that for all of ours or just <laughs> Revius? Uh, you can check. Can, can I, I mean, you can guys can try that. I don't know if your bodies can contain the raw magical power like mine. I do. No, I'm, uh, I'm well, just built different. In the middle of talking, I go do it. Yep. Yeah. Ericos walks up and reaches in. And he's like, he's like, what? I, I say to Ericos. He, he kind of feels that. Hmm. Mm, this is funny for me. It feels. Well, it's like a warm, comforting fire. Very nice. Yep. Honestly, I thought it might it might kill, kill him. <laughs> you know, like you have this taste of pineapple in your mouth. Can't explain why. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, that, huh. that's familiar. <laughs> but uh, you, put, you you all put your hand out and you each get a potion of healing. Ooh. I'm Ooh. doing good, but I actually added that to my character instead of just <laughs> saying put it in the, the group inventory. Yeah, we're not going to have group inventory in this one. Yeah. Whoa! Mark's not First here game. to take care of it, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys do that too. <laughs> You're just like, nah, someone else did well, deal with it. I don't we love you, Mark. <laughs> I don't think we're going to. Um, this is eh. all like, this is all like a like a dungeon delve. You know, we're not getting treasure yeah. all the time. Um, mm -hmm. But you'll have you'll all have individual uh, gold amounts um, that you can share or not share. It's up to you. But uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the clue number one crosses out 
on your uh, on your list. Nice. There's like there's like a little slice of home. I tell you what. <laughs> and boss. Anyways, let's move on to our next one, which I believe. Alumni Commission, where they retire, seeking promises, mage to inspire. It's probably something to do with um, uh, people who have graduated from from Strixhaven. Yeah, like a like a statue or a painting. I mean, honestly, she's probably not wrong. I mean, like, I, guess, um, I would get a statue of me to inspire fear. Yeah, maybe we might see one of my uncles or my grandparents on there. Oh no, Good. it's the cops! <laughs> <laughs> the school <Well>. cops! <laughs> it's the fuzz. <laughs> oh no, it's the fuzz. Chase it! I don't know if it's coming down my street or if it's turning. It's coming for me. Um, well, it can't be. It can't be over oh, there. Oh, JK, it was not... an ambulance, not cops. It's, it's not oh, horse hooves. So, <sighs> so um, you do look around. Um, you. And while there are some paintings on the walls, um, it doesn't seem to be like honoring uh, former students, really. Um, so it, you don't immediately see uh, what you're kind of looking for. Mm. He's looking around, but he's. Oh, um, is that what you were talking about? About Clue 3 over there? He points over here. Huh? Like a store. Yeah, I mean, three. we can go do that one while we're thinking about the other one. Each group yeah. deserves a free treat for their investment. Serve up this list and enjoy your refreshment. There is a cafe near, near the entrance. Oh, okay. I was going to be like... Yeah, let's go do that. Where's, where's the oh, yeah, I, I am feeling a little parched. Let's go do that you so, know, while I, out of character, give someone else a chance to solve t well, clue wouldn't, two. Wouldn't that just be like somewhere in the library? I mean, of like it. a book or something. Maybe a book. maybe a old year, maybe yearbooks or something. If it's they have such thing. That sounds maybe. really stupid. But then um, again, that was uh, that is something other people would do. As we're thinking about it, we make our way over to the cafe. Okay. Yeah, well, let's do let's do the cafe first, and then we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll resume with clue two. So we go down here. Bloop. So this Bloop. is what this area is. So you um, there's an information desk, kind of in the middle here. Um. There is uh, one person working on it. This is kind of a slow, slow day. This is probably like if you're looking for a book or something, they may be able to help you out. Um, to the right, you see cafe seating. Um, you actually see a few non-first years um, just kind of enjoying some drinks here. Like it might be their favorite place to hang out. So since it's the first day back, they decided to come and visit. Um, and then you see the cafe right there in that little nook on the opposite side um it's more of a lounge area um you see some of the first year students kind of getting to know each other here like one of the groups are, are kind of talking to each other um and there's a kind of like a store area right here but it seems to be closed but the cafe is open and you see um some students kind of lined up while a um, while while this gnome is uh kind of began to serve them drinks, little little overwhelmed because he doesn't seem to have any help today. Now I I saunter on up and get myself in line. It's definitely it's, it's just like a a decent line, like you might be here for a few minutes. Um, uh, right I in front of you, the person near the, uh, the front of the line, there is that person that you thought you saw first, because they look a little similar. Um, you see this guy right here. 
He's huge! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's who I was thinking. That's yeah. who I thought Grayson was. These are. Di this is a different guy. Okay, okay, Completely okay. Different guy. Yeah. No, this was the guy that. Oh no, maybe not. Oh. Oh, oh I hate him. <laughs> he's. I mean, he's almost he's as smug. bad. He's so fucking smug. Yeah. Oh, cause he's sure. Oh, 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 look, look at his glove. It's only over his thumb. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yes, this guy is very smug. The ginger. Um, not that means anything. But, hey! Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, um, you kind of get behind him in line. He's kind of looking a little impatient. Um, it, I mean, what's, what's the rush there, sir? It's like, um... I mean... It's like, well, haven't you heard of the, uh... That this place serves the best coffee on campus, and I just must... I must have some. Oh, well, you're gonna ooh. be here all year, so you'll have lots of time to try it. But it must be one of I the mean, first. Indeed, and we are brand new here. We thought we'd come get ourselves some treats for ourselves. One of the other people that are kind of like off to the side. Um, in the group that he was assigned to, um, is actually a uh, who, who should I pick? Well, in this group, you'd see a very large um, elephant person, a loxodon. The loxodon, yes, yeah. yes. He's giving Brick a run for his money, even bigger yeah. than that that dryad. See a a, a dark skinned um man with literal f f fiery hair oh, that seems cool. to be a, a genasi a elemental folk um the goth girl is here i thought so she's yeah. in this group yeah yeah she, she's kind of like um kind of to herself um just kind of taking it all in not really being like the i'm too good for this but you know not really interacting too much um and you see a uh, a little little red-haired gnome um, who's very excitedly saying, like, oh, I'm going to try this on the menu. I'm going to try this on the menu. Yeah, oh, I hear they have crunchy frog legs. Here, I'm going to get some of that. She just goes on and on and on. She's very excited. And it's like, and, uh, and, and I know why you're here. It's because of the, it's because of the clue. It's okay. That's why we're here too. Coffee's just a bonus. Name's Rosie, by the way. Hello. I don't think Rosie needs another fucking cup of coffee. How did there, man? You, you, boy, you are awfully energetic. Are you sure you want a coffee? It's like, energetic, what do you mean? I don't, I don't get what you're saying. I mean, it's kind of a slow day for me, to be honest. I would... I would beg to differ about... Calling what a fucking slow. name, oh, yeah. jeez. Yeah, yeah, um, it's like, my, well, my full name is... Uh, Rosy mind flip nimbip, fuzz wizzledims, but um, all my friends call me Rosie, and all the teachers call me Rosie, and all the faculty calls me Rosie, and everyone just calls me Rosie. So I'm just gonna put Rosie on my name for here, so, so that it's all the way easy. Well, well, Miss Rosie, I perfectly understand that. I mean, part of my name is completely unpronounceable by mortal beings, so I, I go by Ericus. Kind of like. The fact that like he kind of missed introductions, um, the uh, the red hair student goes um, well my name is Quintilius and Fib um, anti <laughs> Antiphian, yeah Antiphian Quinti Quintilius Antiphian Meliot Meliator the third, he says that without stuttering and breaking it up <laughs> like he's recited it a hundred times. Does it mean your dad's name is your name too? And your grandpa's name too? It's like, yes, that's this is what the third means. And, that's weird. And by and God's willing, there will be a Quintilius Antiphon Mel <laughs> Melantor the Fourth someday. <laughs> I suppose. Are you offering? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Revia is increasingly getting annoyed standing in the line. Yeah. That is all. 
You um, can continue. I'm just, quickly, I, I got quickly the uh, others will um, introduce themselves as soon as they're here. No, you don't have to hey. hurry that up. I'm just this is just RP flavor. Yeah. But nice the, gloves, Quinn. It's like <laughs> Well, thank you. Um you wouldn't believe uh how much they cost. I you wouldn't believe how little I cared. <laughs> hmm. He goes, uh not, um what are you wearing? Your, well, I, I guess you're wearing your robes, but they're like very tight over your chest. Like they had hard time yeah, finding. It's like he says, um, "It's like I'm surprised they found robes that could fit you." I, I try to flex a little, maybe rip it a little. It's yeah. like, uh, be careful; <laughs> those are expensive if you rip them. I think this oh. may count as a uh, as a negative encounter for you. Oh, I bet it would. <laughs> Uh oh. Do I need to write this down? Yeah, so I just want you to write down Quintilius Ooh. and give you just one rival point. Oh, I'm gonna oh. write down the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Dear that diary, in our memory today thing. I met Quintilius. He's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but the um, him in a stupid glove. <laughs> he, seems <laughs> he seems fine. Hate him. He seems fine, but his glove. <laughs> um, but the Lost Vaughn this... will uh, introduce himself as as a rampart. Aww. Um, the uh, I forgot their name. Um, the genie, the elemental people. Um, Genasi. Genasi. He he looks kind of very energetic compared to everyone else. He's like, sorry for um my new uh, associate here. Um. <laughs> He introduces himself as a uh, Xanther Bowen. Um, ah, you've how already, are you doing there? Like, you know, I'm Rosie. You already met me. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was waiting again, on bad breath for the goth GF. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like her. <laughs> <laughs> she um, introduces herself as. Aurora, oh God! Aurora Luna Winterstar. Oh no, she's Go hot. On. Look at that choker, jeez. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you can um tell, just mm. you can kind of look at her. Um, that uh, she seems very pale and she seems to use a lot of like um, makeup and blush to kind of like brighten up her face. Uh, she doesn't need bit. it. Oh no, you can definitely uh, tell. Like she she's has a, a very um. Like, very pale skinned, but she's kind of using the makeup to kind of, like, brighten oh. up her appearance a little bit. Oh, Ericos is getting some interesting vibes. Ericos is getting some vibes from her that he might... This He's getting... He's got some... He's picking up some signs he's not very fond of. I'm sorry, do you have a problem? She says to you. I do... Oh, I... Oh, no, no, no. You seem to be, just, you seem to be you, you, staring. You're giving me a weird feeling, but I'm not, I can't quite place it. In, uh, as like a, just very subterciously, he casts. Uh, he uses eyes of the grave. Okay, explain that spell. Does that have a component? It's a, no, it's an action. Is it, I mean, is it uh, verbal? Is it what is it? No, it's just it's an action. I can know the location of any undead within sixty feet of me. Okay, you get a little. You get a ping from her. Ah. Uh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that... Yes, let's get it out of the way. I've already told my new new roommates here. Um, I am a dampier. Or aka a vampire for you layman folks. The oh. realization comes over break space. Oh, that's okay. It's <laughs> not that unco I'm not a full vampire. They're not that uncommon. Yeah, no, 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 you're not that. I mean, you're, no, no, you got the twinge of undeath about you, but you're not full on it, there. It doesn't reflect you as you want. You want to throw any doesn't... more stereotypes at me? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, what I'm saying is not, as someone who has dealt, deals in and has dealt with undeath, it is as wide and varied as the stars in the sky. 
Refia is going to elbow Brick and be like, hey, he likes her. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing a very good job. Yeah, she goes, um, oh, it's hilarious. She goes, <laughs> she, she's just kind of indifferent to you and says, like, eh, you're not wrong. I mean, no. I, as I said, as I someone who suck, deals I don't in... suck blood or anything. I'm not technically no, 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 not dead. That... And I've heard there's damp here and even real vampire student um, teachers here. So, you know, it's not that big a deal. It's mm. it's not a reflection of you as a person. <laughs> at least Selena ah. pops up and like, I'm part Not a reflection at all. <laughs> no, at least no. kinda... <laughs> As everyone's wiping their mouth, like... <laughs> <laughs> well, Lily, oh, so well, like, you actually get a chuckle when you say that brick from her. She got, <laughs> she's kind of like a little smirk. <laughs> What's Lily Sula trying to say? What well, Lily Sula is trying to say? <laughs> I'm part something too. People make weird assumptions about me too. I mean, look at me. I I look like I just <laughs> walked out of a graveyard. Revia. About the spiders thing earlier. Yeah. Oh no, Revia's gonna be like, "What? What do you mean?" <laughs> She's looking at you like, "What are you trying to say?" I don't understand. <laughs> and at that point, she um, she, she's just kind her. of just kind of like um, brushes off the comments made about her. You try to make good on them, so she, you know, she's not uh, not too worried about that. Yeah, uh, as I say, I. Uh, it's a, it's less, it's less a, an assumption and more it's a professional over. curiosity. It's done. But anyway, don't need it. It, it was not, it was very pleasant meeting you, ma'am. Hmm. The lines moved up one person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Revia Revia is, is, okay, I want to. Are are we still doing introductions? Yeah, well, yeah, Revia yeah. Like I have a plan. Quintilius is like, it's like oh, it's like you know, I, I appreciate I the work they're doing back there. They're doing their best, but it's moving snail's pace, if you know what I mean. And we have a schedule. Well, you could always go in and see if they need help, Quintilius. Yeah, let's do that. I like yeah. that plan. Val, Val's Val, gonna, gonna, like, this is, like, the one bravest thing Val has <laughs> probably ever said or done in her life, and you can see her hands are visibly, like, <laughs> like she's Revia, shaking. Revia's going to walk over to Val and give her, like, a pat on like the side of her, like her flank, mm. like like a like a because it's not like I, she assumes that's the centaur pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like that's some good thinking. You see, I was gonna go in there and help those pe those peasants out because they clearly aren't doing a good job. So here uh, we're gonna do it, and she's gonna grab Val's hands and okay. drag her in there. I mean, I think it's less they're doing the best they can with those little people as they have. No, she's <laughs> she just follows in, in after her. <laughs> And she's just she's like pushing through everybody. Sorry, I'm so and, sorry. And, and Revia is going to yell at the gnome, "We're helping!" As she gets behind the counter Thank and starts you. to like just like does dishes or whatever. Yeah, so like the students are kind of like um, say, "Hey, no cutting," you know. And Quintilius is kind of looking on and not irritation, but it's like, hmm. It's like let's see how this goes. Um, and uh, this little gnome. Who has the a little tag on her uniform called Isa Pitsbottom? She's kind of like working to get drinks prepared, saying it's like every year it's this um the uh you do the um the scavenger hunt and every year I don't have my my uh, employees to help me get all the drinks so. Oh. Busy, busy, busy. It's like, oh, hello. And like Revia behind the counter. It's like, you're not supposed to be back here. You wait in line. No, Can we're you helping. Help? You're taking too long. Do, do you... Do you need help? Um, well, in fact, I do. Um, could, uh, hmm, hmm. Let's see here. Um, could you use... Uh, if you could restock some of the, some of the sandwiches and baked goods for uh, all these students here, that would be a, a wonderful help. Sure thing. Do you need anything that needs to be burnt and or moved? Yeah, I so, can also uh, wash dishes. I've been in trouble lots of times. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> um, as you start helping her... Um, 
the uh, the clue number three kind of crosses out. Um, oh. But I want each for each person who's helping you, um, kind of really helping out. Give me a dexterity check. Uh, Just a uh, straight dex check, or a uh, dexterity check? Yeah. I I help out by uh, kind of giving them. I, you know what? I think I'll do this. I'm gonna use. I will cast bless on Valry, <laughs> Revia, and Isla. Okay. What does that give me? It gives you a plus D4 okay. that you can spend on a that you can use on any uh, ability check for the next oh, minute God or so. Damn it! Eight. Eight. I have such high decks too. This isn't fair. <laughs> Your hands are shaking so much. Yeah, she's she's very it. nervous. <laughs> like, Revia dragged this timid girl into this highly social situation, and basically, because because you you suggested a thing, and she's like, I'm going to do it, and it's going to be a And he's like, that's a great idea. Now you're doing it. Uh, uh, Revia, you can add a plus four to that. You can roll a d4 for that. Oh, I can? It's on two? Yeah, that's 14. how we do it. Um, 14 else? and an eight. <laughs> Have anyone else help out? Help out? I can't really fit back behind the counter, so no. <laughs> well, I, well, I used my. I was. I helped by blessing them. Well, you can. You can help Staying out too. Out. I mean, it's gonna take. It's not like instant. You can still help out. Yeah, you can yeah, join I, in after uh, we we just did it showmanshipfully. Well, you know what? No, we've got a handle. Revy is fine. After seeing after seeing Valerie kind of being hesitant and being kind of kind of flailing just a little bit, I, I walk up and go, let me help you out here. I, I get behind the counter and I start just moving things around where they need to be. Alright, give me a dexterity check. Matt one. That one. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you actually knock over some stuff. Oh, and, uh... uh the, 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 I mean, Mr. Betterfingers. Yeah, and, um... Pitsbottom goes like, oh, um, you if you could stay um, on the other side of the counter. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think I think my bless will do it will do my work for me. I my apologies, ma'am. And I, I toss and I put like a couple of coppers in her tip cup. Oh, thank you. Um, appreciate the help, though. <laughs> um, how about you, Louis Sula? <coughs> Louis Sula's just kind of giggling at what's going on. Yeah, and like when. Um, uh, when uh, Ericos comes back after fumbling, she's kind of doing that gesture with the uh, with the finger where she's pointing at him and using the other finger on her other hand, and just kind of like she's uh 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 cutting a carrot, you know, mm. like <laughs> being like <laughs> you do this. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, uh, I, mean, I try. I mean, you know those yeah, like um, you know those uh, glass displays that has like a piece of cake under it, you know. Um, like that's what you knock over. It's like, oh. yeah, uh, I I pay for the cake since I since I yeah. So uh, that'll be um. Let's see here, see how much stuff cost here. Did you... Yeah, like the silver you, you um, the uh, few copper you give over would be more than enough. Yeah, no, I I I, I toss like ten copper in the yeah. uh, tip jar. Uh, but Lucy, are you helping out, or are you just enjoying the the show? Oh yeah, she's just watching the show. She yeah. knows she's not any help in the kitchen. <laughs> she's she's not very good at get, like working in a kitchen. She's more comfortable around a campfire. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, eventually, with you helping uh, Valerie and, and Revia, um, you do not knock stuff over. You do a pretty decent job of uh, kind of helping out. You don't get I mean each other's way, um, and uh, the line goes very. Um, goes much quicker. Uh, eventually, uh, Quintilius gets his drink, and uh, they all kind of mark off his um, their own scavenger hunt, and uh, and they. I was like, okay, on to the next, on to the next clue, and they kind of run off. And as as Rampart the locks it on, runs off like the chairs and tables start to shake, like bam, 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 bam. But yet, Nods approvingly. Yep, we um, have uh, two clues. When when Quintilius was uh, looking at his to see if it marked off, I try to look at his list to see how many he's got marked off. Um, Could I tell? Give me a uh, a uh, perception roll. 
I will try. Eight. Hey! Eighteen. Good. Yo. Uh, let's say. Even his eyes are beefy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I'm doing six four. There's five of them. Um. Yeah, there's no D5. There's no such thing as a D5. Um, they have... Are you going to... Just put a D6 clue and number two. controls. And that's not, I got it. Um, you got a... Uh, they have clue number two. And clue number... F um, clue number three just got marked off. But also... Uh, clue number five. Okay. Um. So we've got Lily. clue number three knocked off. Lily, they're beating us. They got one hmm. more clue than us. Hmm. We can't lose. I like we gotta pick it up. Of... Use like... those spiders. I don't. I don't have spiders. Here's a picture of Rosie, by the way, since uh, he talked to her. Oh, she's Holy cute. Holy cow, that's a big uh, book. Yeah. <laughs> she's secretly very, very strong. Now, like I looked up the magic card this is based off of. It's something like extreme studying or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, the size of a gnome. She's not like teeny tiny. This is a very big book. I'll show you Rampart. Ooh, he's so dapper looking. Yeah. What is fancy? Uh, and who else was there? Uh, there was a... Oh yeah, the um, Genasi. This guy looks cool. I like him. Ooh. He looks very friendly. Yeah. Mm. It, as I said, he looks like he's got... He's like, like he's got a campfire in him. Yep. But you, uh, you do take some time, enjoy your drinks. Well, we don't. We move on to the next. Or you don't. Well, you just get your drinks in four minutes. <laughs> I, to I'm trying trash. to encourage the group to uh, to move on to the next one quickly. Mm -hmm. We can take it with us. They're into go cups for a reason. They're <laughs> <laughs> into go cups. Revia shrugs, but. She also tells uh, Asa Fitzbottom, you want a nice little store here. If you need help, just call me. I'll skip class to help, because <laughs> that's stupid. Um, well, um, you know, you can always apply for a job. You know, I'll consider you always, it. You always apply for a job here if you want to make some extra coin. I can always use the help. I'll consider it. Father always said, you need to know what the working people are and what they're like so you could exploit them. Because he, that's yeah, something Father uh, well, always said. We try not to exploit the students. We just offer them drinks. She and, says uh, this as she walking away. She's snacks. ignoring. Erikos, Erikos waves as he walks out and says, well, I'm sorry again about the cake. and uh, Don't worry, I, I, I think I'll be staying in front of the counter. She kind of giggles. She shakes out a wand. And she casts repair or mend in the glass because just reforms. Thanks for the copper, though. Appreciate it. Winks. You she winks a, at you. You have a blessed day, ma'am. Um, we haven't really gone like up there behind all the books. Oh, it is. What's up there? Well, maybe other clues? Well, I mean, there was a state. They, weren't they setting up a stage somewhere? Mm -hmm. Didn't Lily talk about like the the? Was Lily the one that said the the yearbook or the book? Was that her? I think that was Val. No, I think it was Lily. Oh, okay. Lily still has no idea who you're talking about because she's no, never that's, no, that's, in that's, her that's entire weird. life. <laughs> like, she's like who's Lily I don't know who Lily is like she genuinely has never been called Lily her entire life <laughs> and she can't really figure out that it's her that yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> I like that Val's like reading her the, the like note the scavenger 
hunt list, and she's just like walking, like she's like if you head want to, in the book. Yeah, if you want to intuit, um, kind of what the clues may mean, you can give me a, um, I think a wisdom check. Oh no, not wisdom. Intelligence, a, oh. a, a investigation check. If you'd like, oh, okay, just kind of want to make an educated guess about what, like, gonna, where these clues will go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you do that. I'll give you the help. You know what? I see you trying to think on twenty-two. It. Remember, we probably still have bless. Um, I'm not. Yeah, I've to <laughs> uh, Well, bless only lasts a minute, so okay. it's like, and we're not in combat, so it's it's long gone. Which but clue I are you? Give her guide. Which clue are you kind of looking for? Uh, two. I think two. Because yeah, I think two is the, the one. one that we're like. Yeah, so you um, kind of actually ask a uh, a passing by a uh, um, like a professor, not a professor, but someone kind of works in the library, and he's like, um, like where are uh, uh, alumin um alumni, alumni. Uh, paintings and. They go. Oh, it's it's near the back in the uh, the west side of the uh, of the biblioplex, and she points to this area over here. Mission work. Uh, I'll just start walking right. towards it. Revia Thank will you. also walk. Work. I just follow behind because I'm like I'm still trying to just vibe. The I'm still trying to find that stage. That's that's why I think that's what he, Well, the stage is back here. Too. It's very obvious. Oh, actually, they closed the thing. Hold on. I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk next to Val as we go up. And so, did Revia like touch your 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 butt just now? Well, um, no, that's okay. Yep. Um, My leg. It was essentially, right, like sla essentially like slapping her on the back. Yeah, we're not, not familiar with the the centaur, so pretty, oh. pretty pretty cool if you ask me. I bet you can run really fast. Um, yeah. I guess. <laughs> not that I've ever awesome. tried. Um, didn't we find out that like a deer centaur actually have a like a known name? Um, yes. Uh. Oh god, what was it? Like um, a servant? Servitar, servitar, I think. Yeah. Uh, yes, Servitar. Servitar. So as you start to head in that direction, um, you do pass by kind of some garden areas. Um, let's just hear B9. Oh, we should probably try petting the grass. <laughs> touch grass. Go touch grass! <laughs> yeah, we gotta touch the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first time of all your lives you will touch grass <laughs> which one of you guys has nature power right, so you actually see a little sign that says book gardens um, and there's this just, and again like these areas are kind of much bigger than the maps are showing but this is almost like a private like a miniature park in the middle of this library um, where uh, not the moment um, but you would normally see, like, students just relaxing, like, on the grass. Um, and, uh, you'll see, um, Witherbloom students like to hang out here as they study. They're kind of the more nature-based things. Mm -hmm. Um, but as you get close, uh, you do see some shrubs actually just kind of walking around. Just kind of That's... wandering around like little, little, uh, plant puppies. That's... I bet you those are the things that we need to pet. Yeah, yeah I think we should pet them. Here, give me five. I reach up for a high five. Of, I go up to one of them and I give him squitches. Right. Do I need to know? Do I need to roll nature or animal handling no. for that? You should have. I guess I just kind of blurted it out, but yeah, you would have had to notice if they were actually alive. But yeah, um, you give one of the uh, one of the uh, shrubs like a pat, and I can now imagine this as like literally like little little bushes or like little puppies that like just little like walking topiaries. Yeah, just... imagine that thing from Pikmin, that little dog plant thing, Oldman. 
Yeah, that thing. Bull borbs. Oh, where's um? Let's get token here. Where's brick? I think I d either I deleted it on accident or. I think we're still all at the bottom of the map. No, it's nowhere. I'm highlighting the whole thing. I think I may have. I think I may have hit delete on accident. I think I'm sorry. I accidentally moved you. Uh, well, you can move you yourself can just over. Drag yourself. Um. Over. Yeah. So you get a little, a little pet. Um. Nowhere. And uh, the branches will part. And uh, a little stuffed animal. Is uh, kind of reveals itself. Roll me a D five. Who? Um. Dust. D five or D six. There's no D5. Or D6. You can just roll a D5. D6 minus D6. one. Yeah. All right, what do you roll? Five. Five. Um, it's it's a it's a plush of this um, kind of grub looking salamander type thing. Um, and you receive a cuddly Strixhaven mascot. Oh, you got a pest. And this is an item. Um, that you, it's, it's an item that you can add. Oh. But it's like this little, yeah, it's this little lizardy grub looking thing with like sharp little, you know, if there was real like sharp little teeth. They're very cute and they're the Witherbloom one. Yeah. Oh, that's a, oh my God, that is adorable. One of the, like the uh, passerby students who goes, Oh, you got a pest. I just got a, a, a crummy old inkling. They're no fun. Yeah, inklings suck. That's probably Lorehold. No, Lorehold is just like a random ghost. <laughs> he goes, um, I think, oh no, uh, that's a uh, inkling silver quill, I think, right? Inklings are silver oh, quill. Oh, yeah. that would make more sense. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, I got silver quill even though I want to be a, even though I want to be a prismari. I, I look at this, I look at it and go, and I literally just instantly attach it to my arm and there, and it's like, oh my god, that's a door. Oh yeah, no, that's staying there. Yep. So this, like, so this item, it is a wonder, a common wondrous item. Um, and if you each want a, want a pet, you can each get one. Um, but it's, it's, a. Uh, you can end the frightened condition if you hug it. Yeah. Once per day. Once per long rest. Or you give yourself an advantage. You have to read what it says. So you, go. Uh, you, When you make a saving throw to avoid or end the frightened condition on yourself, you can give yourself advantage on the roll if the toy is on your person. You must decide to do this before rolling the d20. But everyone can roll, can do a slash roll d5. See what type you get. Mm -hmm. Alright, Brick, when you roll, uh, you get, um, it is a plush of a, um, of a statue. Like an ancient statue, but of a, it's of a plush. Mm. How, how do you roll a d5? I, I'm sorry. Slash R space yeah. Yeah, this... 1D5. Yeah. Oh, okay. Slash R space D5. Um, Revia, you also get a pest. <laughs> Valerie, you get a pest. Luisula, you get a, a Prismari one. So it's, um, What's a prismari? They're like, uh, like like an animal, like almost like a ghost made out of magic. It's like an elemental. Yeah, it's kind of like an elemental. an elemental. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of like an elemental. Um, they take on the shape of a uh, of different animals and and things like that. But yours looks like um like a little like a like a red and blue cat. Oh, it's funny because that's my house or the house we're gonna put me in. Yep. And uh, it's just kind of flavor what they look like, but you each get a uh, Strixhaven mascot um, plush. Cool. This thing will never leave my body. Refi is going to set hers on fire with her innate magical thing. While holding it, she looks at it as it burns completely, <laughs> going to ash, and then she shakes her hand dismissively. 
you, you lose your strict saving mask off plush. Yeah. Uh, was that really necessary? Yes, it was. Bull shrub just like goes, <laughs> kind of runs behind some actual bushes. I know you frightened the little fella. What? What? Again? What was the purpose of that? To send a message. That you are, that you are grumpy pants. Yeah. The message well received. Um, from behind you, you see this uh, dryad girl. Um, and she looks horrified as what, what you just did, Revia. Also, also, didn't they say not to to be careful with fire? Because you know, books burn. Yeah, they did. Revia gives gives that uh the scared looking dryad a, a a grin and a wink as if to say, Yeah, I did it. Do you want to be next? <laughs> well, this don't have a big picture for her. Um She kinda looks like this. She goes, um, it's like, why did you, why did you burn that poor creature? Because it was fun. It was one of nature's creatures and you just burned it up. Oh, it uh, was just a stuffed animal. I didn't burn a real thing yet. It was a stuffed animal. But, oh, yeah. I thought, you still shouldn't play with fire. And she'll kind of turn around. And, uh, I want you to add Freya to give you one point of rival. Okay. Like, how do you do that? On your Strixhaven memory thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I just wrote do, do negative get, one. A, oh. You remember the PDF we got last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I was wondering how to do rival. I guess you do negative points. Okay, yeah, negative sense. points, yeah. Wait, does that, is that all of us or just Revia? Just oh, Revia. just Revia. Yeah. Because Revia actively burnt a thing, and then she said, "What? Why did you do that?" And she said, "Cause." <laughs> and her being you made, know of, that? made of plants. I might have. Um, she's actually part of some art. Let's see if I can find it. Um, she's a unique character that I made up. So I needed two more to fill out the space. Yeah, I can't, oh, can't find it right now. Um, okay, but, uh, that clue, um, gets crossed off for all of them. Also, Revia is going to use her, a spell of minor illusion to cast what appears to be just a fire <laughs> on the ground, <laughs> like, like a, like a little blaze. Okay, so this actually causes a little bit of a disturbance. Um, some professors come running over. You know, wands in hand, ready to put out this fire, but they quickly realize that it's illusionary. Like, where are you when this happens? Do you, you like just set fire and run? Uh, oh, wait, I got my minor illusion. It's at thirty feet. So she's got to, if she's able to, she's able to just try to do this at like the edge of her periphery, like as far away as it'll go from her. Just kind of like a. Give me a sleight of hand. Or, right. or not, not um, stealth. Sorry. Eh, it's same diff. Okay, a student. You're notice, not even trying. A student notices you doing this. Um, unless there's no verbal. Are there any verbal commands? Uh, there is, but I want to feel that with it, to color that she instead of trying to hide it, she proclaimed it loudly. <laughs> okay. Um. Because of this, it's a disturbance. Um, Revy, you're actually taken kind of to a corner, and you're given a given a talking to. And the rest of you can continue your scavenger hunt for the time being without Revia. Yeah, that's great. Sharpbeak is like it's like, a, I know it's within a dragon's nature to set fire to things, even imaginary fires, but it, it's, uh, you know, 
we have the safety of the students and the safety of the books and uh, we don't want anyone getting hurt and she starts rambling on and on and on and a couple of other professors are kind of like nodding in approval it's like yes it's very dangerous don't do that and um some of the other first year students kind of like like watch and like they're like ooh. but yeah you will be available for this next clue great wow no i like this this is what listen revia gotta do what she gonna do in fact that's um even before we kind of get started uh you're gonna get a um you know negative points even before like the school year officially started yep wow yeah i'll have to decide yeah. how much but uh yep causing a oh, disruption i love it i love it no this is perfect that's what my little delinquent's gonna be doing. <laughs> All right. Um. So you're like, Ravi's over here. The rest of you start walking towards, kind of awkwardly. It's like, oh, what, what have we got ourselves into? To this uh, this area over here. Um, First this is a uh, kind of an art gallery. Uh. This crisp looking room features white walls and columns that stretch from floor to ceiling. Displayed on or within these are art pieces representative representative of representative of various media. Students from Prismari College typically tend to this space, blah 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 blah. So yeah, it's just portraits of um not only art pieces that students have made, but of alumni who have uh, kind of left their mark. On Strixhaven. Um, Doors aren't open. Can you not, there we go. Can you not walk through? I, could, I cannot. Oh, uh, hold on. The um, we don't really need it for this map, but the uh, the, the the walls thing must be up. Where is? Walls restrict movement. Um, there we go. Should be able to go through now. All right, you go into this room. Mm -hmm. How does the art make me feel, Joey? Um, you feel on we. <laughs> You feel you don't know how to feel. It really represents the duality of man. <laughs> this is a picture of a banana. <laughs> it's not even a picture. It's a banana taped to a yeah. canvas. <laughs> it's just, it just says out for cleaning or something. Yeah. And just, the single tear goes down his face. Uh, Beautiful. <laughs> So the one that pops out to you most um, is a <coughs> several older individuals in the painting wearing the Prismari College colors. Um, and you see some students kind of huddled around this one. A small plaque says, um, "At Strixhaven, we are all inspired," and there is a small lever underneath the plaque. Ericos walks up and just pulls the lever. Like, right. If he doesn't die, I pull the lever too. Right, roll me another D5. All right. Um... Three to four. All right, so a small pendant bearing um, the crest of one of the colleges kind of pops out, and it's actually glowing as bright as a, as a torch. Um, wow. And this is a... Do, do, it is a... It is a thing. It is a Strixhaven pendant. Pennant. 
There's another item you can add. It's basically a torch. That's neat. So, um, Dustin, yours is in the silver quill, um, crest. Did you say mine was Lorehold? Um, Dustin's was silver quill, Bricks is Quandrix. Ah, the math one. Yeah, the math one. And, um, Lucilla and Valerie, if you want to roll two and get one. Okay. So you said it's coming out glowing? Yeah. Well, okay, I mean, so it, it glows and it kind of fades as it, you arrive at it. So when I get, I, I, I just read it and it says, you know, when you wave it, it glitters. Yeah. And so uh, Brick is like, I'll just shut this thing off and like shaking it. And it just keeps getting like, yeah, it's brighter like, no. and bright again. <laughs> uh, Lucilla, yours is a wither bloom. Ooh, uh, I got the oh, uh, do you, Lucilla, do you want to yeah. trade? And Valerie, yours is a Quadrix too. Val just like looks at Bricks and like looks at him and looks at her <laughs> hand and she's like mm. wow. <laughs> like visibly like nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do you mind trading? I would love to have you us. Oh, um, yeah, sure. You see I that? uh, I try to pull it again and see if anything else comes out because I'll get one for Revia. The painting. Anything happen when I do the it painting again? actually moves slightly in the brow furrows and looks angry and shakes his head no. Fine. But as you as you do this, um a tiny little owlin. Um <laughs> like the size of a of literally like this almost like beach ball shaped and size. Kind of a kind of walks around you, giving like no notice of um it's like who he's bumping into. Kind of walks be up. Glad Rivia is not here because yeah. she would want to eat it. Yeah. So he has these gigantic, Alan eyes. These little feet that are going a mile a minute. And he's walking, and just goes, "Oh, what's all the fuss? Of, what's all the fuss about this lever? I think I'll give it a pull." You know, pull the lever, and uh, he goes. Quandrix, that's my house. I'm ever so glad that I got this one. Oh, I shall put it on my desk and I shall cherish it forever. He's, he's just admiring it. Well, hello there, little one. How one you of you, that? please bully him for me. <laughs> please bully him. Yeah. I'm not here. <laughs> Ruffy, <laughs> like, it's, it's the nerd sense. Far away. I'm, since I'm sending psychically punch him. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Ericos just kind of bends down and kind of just goes, aren't you just the cutest thing? Well, thank you very much. I don't have to try. I'm just naturally this adorable. And he gives, it's like, it just being, his eyes go even wider. What's, oh. uh, what, uh, what a pennant did you get? Oh, I traded, I had a, uh, I had one, I've got a well, Witherbloom one now since I traded with my friend here. Oh, I wish you were in Quadrix. Then we could be best friends. Uh, I mean, we don't... What's stopping us from being friends? <gasps> you mean we'd be friends with people outside our school? I've never considered and, this before. I mean, you can be friends with whoever you want to be friends with. But mm. I would be glad to call you friend. Uh, mm. The problem is, 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 are you cool enough to be friends with me? Mm, I wonder... <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wow. That was unexpected. Love I mean, it. It's like a, everyone wants to be friends with me. They sure do. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, yep. Can I roll insight? See if he's actually... Sure. <laughs> I, showed, uh, I showed Mark this picture, and he's like, is this like the Tootsie Pop Owl? And I go, yeah. Yeah. 17. <laughs> 17. Um... You can tell this, you might have been the first person to even pay any attention, even the people in his group. My heart literally melts, and I'm like, oh, I just, I literally grab him up and hug him. Huh. <laughs> um, he, he, like, gets uncomfortable. It's like, out of the sudden, like, 
this gigantic person like reaching down, wrapping his arms around him. He's like, <laughs> he's like shaking. I put him down. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You, you just yeah. Erica's, that's a that's a person though. Yeah, so, I'm like... sorry. I'm sorry. It's just I I sometimes get these urges and I apologize. But you you just look like you needed a hug. Uh, see you in the uh, see you in class, I guess. And he kind of hey, walks uh, off. Bimwick, Bimwick, you're you're all right. You want you want a second Bim- pennant? Yeah, it on it. Hey, you can see that? Yes, his name is uh. He introduced himself as Pingwing, Pig, Pimwig Bright Eyes. As he kind of like kind of wanders off, it's like no. just admiring right. his pendant. I wanted to hold on. I, I'm offering him mine if he wants it because he he was he's all right. Um, you're offering your, him his yep. your pendant. Yeah, you you want a second one, buddy? You, you're all right. Two pendants. I'll hold out my Quandrix one because I mean numbers kind of suck, but. Some more Revy is like, I've been betrayed. <laughs> like, oh, like while she's getting chewed out, like if you were to see her face, it's like scrunching up just randomly, like a, like a, like a psychic headache migraine. The, no, but the, he, but Pim made fun of Erica. Pim, like, Pim bullied Erica, so it's okay. <laughs> but numbers make the universe go round. You could say it's mathematical. Oh, God. <laughs> numbers. Oh, no. No, numbers no, can solve any of life's problems if you just multiply enough and add now enough. Now I wish I made Val a bully. Right. Yeah, I, I take, ne- never mind. I'm I'm just gonna keep this. And every and time you look I at throw... it, just remember the wonders of math and fractals. Yep. And then I throw in the nearest trash can while he's watching me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really necessary, Brick? Uh. Nope. Yes, it is. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> I, 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 I did not have to do that, if that's what you're asking. I no, chose I, to. I, <laughs> after Burke leaves, I, I quickly go and fish it out of the trash and give it to Pimwig, and I'm like, I, I'm sorry, my huh. friend. I don't know. Yeah, he had me up until mathematical. <laughs> well, that was a little, um... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she's sure. like trying so hard to be so nice about when, it. Like, when, when you get Valerie to, to... <laughs> he goes, um, it's like, well, uh, I look forward to you fellow students to see you in class and all of you in fellow Quandrix College next year. And he'll he'll turn around and kind of walk off. You have, a, you, have a, you have a blessed day, little one. <laughs> I'm, gonna so many, and, I'm gonna have so many friends in Quadrix, yay! And they never heard from him again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ericus is feeling a little. He's not sure how he feels about jo- all this. I'm gonna join the football team. <laughs> <laughs> it is said that on that day. Ericus <laughs> <laughs> is. I mean, he's tried to. Revia is very confused. Revia, as you uh, as you your your lecture, you're talking to ends. You see this little beach ball owl, and not even like stop for you in the doorway. Just run, like walk past you. It's like ah, oh, what a day, what a day to go up to his like to reunite with his group. Trip him. <laughs> no, she just looks at him confused. Damn. She yeah, he hasn't she has he hasn't done anything to her yet. She's like, what? The, okay. <clears throat> okay, um does, maybe we I should mean, go look for the Does lab anybody last else group? get the impression that that little owl man has a very intimate knowledge of what the inside of a locker looks like? <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling he has also knows what the inside of a trash can does too. <laughs> and a toilet. <laughs> Why did I miss? <laughs> so you, much. Oh. I believe you missed what you would consider a prime bullying target. Uh, uh, Val will take really? Lily's uh, Lily for that. Val will take Ooh. Revia's hand and just kind of like bring her over to the portrait. Oh, what? What is this? Pull it. Okay. She pulls lever, it. not the portrait. No, she pulls the portrait down. <laughs> like, to pull it down. It, it's like oh, magically yeah. stuck there. Like it doesn't move. And like the portrait starts looking panicked as it's like it's um, going around. Um, oh no, the, the, the lever, the lever, the lever. <laughs> oh, the lever. And then she pulls the lever. 
Uh, old, 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 old panic comes out. <laughs> Roll me a D, a D, uh, D5. Alright. Lore hold. Yeah, little, um, the lore hold symbol on your pennants. I like that it's red. Rem, you, you would have been super proud of Erico if he just straight up assaulted that little owl. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he did him. Wow. Well, I did not. <laughs> wow, well, I'm impressed. Oh, you got a little, maybe, maybe it's not a little celestial he got in there. Maybe he's a little, little demon in there. Got that dog I, in him. I. <laughs> Ericos feels like he's come out of this situation a little worse. Oh. And he does not like that one little bit. Um, Calls him like a season. We only have one clue left. Oh, yes. We, we, let, let's go find the stage. and Can we just leave this room, please? I want to leave this room now. I don't want to be right. here anymore. Man, I learned some things. Ericos literally just dashes out of the room. He's done. He's done with that room. <laughs> Screw that room. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so near the back of the big old plex is the, uh... Oh, the amphitheater, I think. Huh. We're right back there. B13. Yeah, so again, much bigger than what this will show. Um... A impressive stage used for lectures, assemblies, and a gathering place in case of emergencies. Um, magic steps lead up to the stage from the floor of the library. Um, yeah, so you see a bunch of students here. Um, no first years, um, so that everyone has their, uh, everyone has, um, different colored robes, and, um, you can see a little little sign in front that says like presentation of the uh, of the of the play actors drama guild, um, and like you, you question one of them, it's like oh we're we're going to put a performance for the end of orientation, and we're all very excited, and we're just getting a it's getting set up. And actually, you see Quintilius taking an interest in this goes um. Drama Guild, you say? Yeah. Seems interesting. Perhaps I'll join. Hmm. She kind of looks at the rest of you. It's like... Like, impressed? Or <laughs> no, it's like a... You know, <laughs> does seem the sophisticated thing to do, if you ask me. What do you think? Eh... Uh... You know, my dad was in the circus. Carnival circus. Oh, carnival. oh carnival. I actually, he says very, like, very seriously, I actually have a great respect for carnival workers. As you should, they're very hardworking people. Oh, they are very hardworking. This is the most hardworking people in show business, if you ask me. Is he being serious? Give me insight. <laughs> Where is my insight? Come on. 19, 22, 21. I can what? count. <laughs> <laughs> He's being very serious. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are. Um, it's like, um, he, he kind of sort of, his, his, his demeanor kind of changed a little bit. It's like, um, it's like, um, what, what, uh, what carnival did your father work for? A witch like carnival? Which like carnival? I've heard rumors, but I've never actually. Is it the interdimensional carnival that travels through the Feywild? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. fascinating. My dad's an acrobatic, and oh well, he does everything actually. My aunt too; she's there too. He's like, like suddenly very interested. It's like something he doesn't even know about. It's like I go there sometimes, so it's kind of fun. Does it ever come to Arcavius? Um, I don't know. We're kind of this world is kind of a 
kind of a weird mismatch of different planes. But I can but maybe I'll ask Mr. Witch and Mr. Light if they can if oh. I go like home on holiday. How does that work here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find out once we figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, the carnival still kind of exists because of my dad, so maybe we can do that. <laughs> he, he looks. Uh, he looks very impressed. It seems very like Val. Whenever she's talking about the the carnival, she seems a lot more like. Was like relaxed and like mm. not as high strung and like shy. Like it's something she's very comfortable with. She says, uh, let's be honest, I've always been interested in performance and uh, always liked the carnival when I was <laughs> since I was little. I have to admit, they're um, a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, they just put their all into their, into their craft till they perfect it their entire lives. That is a uh, Something I wish to do, too. Maybe not at the carnival, but, um, you know, just in my own life. In my own, uh, in my own life. I think I, I was serious about joining this drama guild. Well, uh, as long as you're doing it to make other people happy and not for your own selfish gain. Because there's no heart in it if you're doing it just to be famous. Well, as long as they can catch, keep up with me, then, you know, I wish them all the best. But I, I'm gonna be, gonna be the best drama actor in the school scene. You'll, you'll, you'll see. Perhaps, maybe, you can join me. She just kind of like, uh, 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 like gapes for a minute. Maybe. How did Carnival? Uh, Worker, certainly some of that must have rubbed up on you. Yeah. I'm not very good at acrobatics, though, because, you know. He kind of says, he <laughs> says sincerely, it's like, why, why would that be? Well, um, my, my Auntie Pim tried to teach me how to do cartwheels in it. Oh, I've got four legs, so it doesn't. My word, you do. I just barely noticed. <laughs> she just, like, deadpan, like... Well. Thanks. There's, like, acting chops being thrown around and Lucy was over here <laughs> with her with her specialization in performance, like... <laughs> like just just itching, like... <laughs> I inspire the Prismari what? College, and mm. you could have no legs and still... Be the greatest <laughs> performer in the entire multiverse. Have you done performances before? Well, he goes, just locally. But I'm gonna make there... a, I'm gonna make a difference here. I want to look around real quick as he's saying that. Are there any like scripts or like little pieces of paper with like monologues or anything written on them? <laughs> oh, like in his pockets. No, 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 like around, just around, scattered around the stage. Um, I think, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like some of the crates um, would have, like, little pieces of paper of, like, the play, that, or, like, the little acts they want to put on. Um, and, uh, you know, you see some students, like, um, kind of messing with this big crate that's, that's kind of heavy. Um, but no, like, scripts or anything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see, like, see a script lying around. Okay. Do it. Um, okay, I will. Right now. Okay. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> uh, let's see what does it say here. Valerie bullying in the nice, <laughs> most yeah. nicest way possible. Oh, you think you're hot shit? <laughs> <laughs> Revia is watching let, this attentively. Yeah, let's politely watch you perform right now. <laughs> I bet you're going to be so good. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. No, I'm making you find like a monologue. Um, 
Rolls a six. Oh, bless. Um, so you can tell he's, like, trying a little too hard. It's not that he's bad at it. But, you know. Like, She'll, she's, like, watching him. Yeah. Like, watching his form. Kind of, because, like, obviously she's seen, like, the the monarch show and you know whatever all that stuff at the carnival plenty of times so she'll like walk up to him and she'll like she's no concept of personal space in this moment she's she's very much in her uh oh what's the word element like it's in her element thank you yeah. um she like like pushes his shoulders down so he relaxes yeah. and like st like you know changes his posture so Don't forget the, so, to breathe. Yeah, so when this is happening, like the lights actually magically dim around the area, and like spotlights kind of go on on him. And um, he's like, "I was just not prepared, is all. I'm, I, it's like, I'll do better now." A good actor always has to be very quick on his feet. It's like, um, yes, yes. <laughs> and he'll start the monologue again. Sign rolls a ten. He does an adequate job. And, uh... It's better. He kind of looks on, to, on his list, and, and the clue... Um... The clue kind of crosses itself out. He goes, Oh, look at that. You're welcome. I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, Joey. Well, hold on. Would you, would you call this encounter friendly? Yeah, she wasn't being mean. Yeah. But, like, what, what, is it, like... Friendly in the sense that, like, I can talk to this person more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mark one friend point for Quintilius. Ooh. Oh, no. Uh-oh, Brick. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to interrupt your whole scene, but I kept, I was like, at some point, I was is this guy bothering you? <laughs> but it never worked, because you were you were having yeah. too good of a time. <laughs> so he, he's, he's starting to, like... um. It's, maybe she put him in his place after she yeah. was like, "Why don't you go help the men?" Yeah, so he was like maybe acting a little, a little pompous, but then like when he was put on the spot, like he couldn't quite like live up to his own hype a little bit. So he kind of humbled him a bit, but instead of being angry about it, he's actually respecting you for it. But well, he still has those gloves. <laughs> those damn gloves. Yeah, well, he gives you thumbs I mean, up with the glove. <laughs> no, oh, maybe, no. Maybe I'll think about joining the drama. Killed. You're a little more Maybe. silver quill than Prismari, the way you hold yourself, aren't you? Mm hmm. But, like you said, it's in my blood, right? Yes. So. I'm gonna look at my list. Did my, did my number five get crossed out, too? Yep. Um, yes! Yeah, since you kind of were kind of acting on the stage. Um, <laughs> The uh, number five that crosses out um, for everyone, just for her. <laughs> okay. She'll Val will turn around and look at everybody else, and, like completely, like just totally forgetting that cause she was so like just in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> she pushes so, up her glasses. Yeah. Oh. So, how would, how would anyone else? Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joey, if I can, if oh, yes. I can yeah, yeah, sorry, roll. you're saying something. I would, I would like to roll performance for okay for for Lily Sula. As I see her walking up to the stage, I kind of give her a supportive pat on the back and give her guidance. Oh, do I get advantage then? Uh, uh, D D4. plus D four. Yeah. Plus D four. Add to that. Oh, roll a fourteen. Hey, a fourteen still so, better than yeah. a thirteen. Yep. So, uh. Uh, Lily Sula has a very special power that she uh, that she'll hold on to, and she, in case she needs it, um, your homegirl can uh, she can cry on command. <laughs> and so, and so she's like, "Oh yeah, well I can cry on command, and I am very <laughs> good at doing dramatic readings because I can pour my heart and soul into it." And so she uh, she starts going on to doing a monologue about uh, um, um, how could you eat the last of the pie 
that I was looking forward to eating all day. I worked outside all day. And, and you, went, you ate the rest of the pie. You didn't even leave me a single crumb. And I just... I, it's just my whole day is ruined. I just I can't, I can't anymore. I just don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> and then she she looks like she's just torn apart yeah. about this pie. And then and then fourteen. And yeah, then like after a, a few of the students like start to tear up too. It's like oh no, she wanted <laughs> to eat that pie so bad. And then and then she stops just suddenly. And she goes, acting. <laughs> I, I like. I started applauding. Yeah, so the like the Prismarian Silver Quill, who are about to put on this uh, presentation, start clapping, and um, but like at the same time, like you start hearing this ruckus, kind of people who are, um, you know, like um, unpacking, and one of them goes like, "Way to ruin the mood," but like <laughs> you you hear like crashing sounds behind you and they're like whoa what, what's going on and this uh crate falls to the ground it kind of breaks open and like clothes and uh props kind of pour out and um they're like oh yeah way to go genius and people start laughing you know recovering um it's like no it, it just kind of kind of came to life and sprung out of my hands it's like yeah whatever uh but then the crate begins to reform itself magically and opens up from the middle in these uh, slobbering teeth form from the uh, from the trunk as this reveals himself to be a mimic in disguise. Huh. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Is moving that by accident, uh, but um, yeah, so let me read this part. The joyous and energetic atmosphere of the first floor is shattered by panicking shouting. That trunk, a young elf screams, pointing to towards the stacks as she runs by. That trunk has teeth. Please, anyone, stop it! Chaos erupts in the library as students stem in all directions, their books and papers flying as they shout in fear. The only faculty mages in sight are trying to deal with the panicked students. You just can't let some monster ruin the first day of classes. It's time to step it up. Let's all roll <gasps> initiative. We're all gonna get our murder Hell wet! Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Oh. So here is... Mimic. Put up the list. Yep. Oh, well, y'all to wait. too soon. Tisk tisk. Keep in mind, though. Uh, he said roll initiative. I rolled initiative. I know. It's just, there it is. Hey. Oh. I didn't realize it was. It still tracked him. Or did you just real quick type them all in? No. Someone rolled twice, though. Tracked him. Damn near killed him. <laughs> 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 We'll <laughs> <laughs> say this is a kind of surprise. I'm putting them at the top. But it had a break. Right? Uh, everyone move their tokens up. Oh, yeah, it's right. We're on the uh, stage. I forgot. Where's the stage? Or was it? Near the top. Right there. Oh, right there. I'm sorry. Hurry up. Get away from me. Good luck. <laughs> The first battle of any campaign Get your is always. Pause away from me. <laughs> the first battle is always rat battle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll be right near Lily Sula since I was giving her. I gave her a pat on the yeah, back. Yeah, so Lily Sula, you're allowed to be closest right here. Is <gasps> over here. I think I actually oh, moved the map a little bit. You oh, did. Man, I was gonna bit. sing my song about how I hate everyone. But I guess this will do. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. I'll fix it later. <laughs> um, right, Brick? Uh, Brick is going to... Uh, let's see. So... Uh, 
never died of barbarian. This is my first. I'm gonna shine. I know I this is no, right 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 away? number one. Do no. it. Do no, it. No, no, no. Why would this is this, where this is like orientation day? Show them what you got. So, since this is on the stage, this is gonna count as my performing on the stage. Oh, I'm gonna give it my all. All right. Yeah. The shock of this mimic appearing th catches Brick off guard and throws him into a rage. And uh, he is going to run up to this side. 30, can I move 30? Yes. And thwack right. with a great axe for 13. 13 hits. Huzzah! And that is going to do four slashing, I think, plus two because of Enrage. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So six. Beyond slashing. 20 does have a, like, a rage um, button you can press. Or what, um, make or what uh, my other players did. They just made a weapon with a plus two damage on it. Um, Martin. Oh. So, so like, Beyond 20. Well. I'll this figure that out. I will make sure that I do that. Yeah, so I'll make you a weapon with a plus two damage so you can roll that when you're raging. Thank you. Yeah, so this, uh, this crate, like, when he hit it, a bunch of, um, a bunch of socks come out. <laughs> when he hit it. But it's going to open up its mouth and, uh, this long, like, tied together, um, like, like a uh, tied together like shirts and pants will uh, kind of lash out at you and try to grapple you. Um, so a pseudopod, an eight will miss. An eight will miss. Yep. So it tries to wrap around you, but you're just too big. You can't wrap all the way around, and it will just. Like nah, 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 nah. in terms of the in terms of everyone else, but Eric goes. Hmm, my look, that. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Yes, my friend, I think you need to. I think you might be hearing your own death coming in, and I cast toll the dead. Uh, wisdom check for wisdom DC fourteen. Uh, wisdom check. Fourteen. Uh, matches it. Beats it. Meets it. Beats Sorry. it. Yep. So, and he is missing some damage. He is. Nine necrotic damage. Even if he saves. Even if he saves. Oh, oh, he saved. Yeah, he uh, then he takes nothing. And nothing. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, sorry, Evan means it beats it for the save. Like, yeah. On Joey, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's like, it just shrugs it off. Since it's, uh, oh, you know, made of wood. Yeah. Not, I guess this one does not fear its own death. How very odd. It is Fox. True, <laughs> true, true. Right, um, oh, sorry. Just a that's it. I ain't really doing much of anything else. Okay. I, this is my first, second time playing a rogue, so forgive me. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... Let me just double check that I'm doing what I'm doing right. Yes, your big thing is sneak attack. Um, yes, but because it's within five feet of brick, I'll get sneak attack anyway. Yep, if there's an ally... That's not a... That's, that's, okay, it's not a bonus action or anything. Sick! Okay, Yep. so I'm gonna come up right up to it, and I'm gonna try and stab it with my rapier first. Uh, oh my god, how the frick frack do I do this? Okay, 17. 17 will hit. Okay, so that's going to be five piercing damage. Wait, what? Oh, yes. not, wait, huh? Oh, yeah, it already adds the sneak attack. Yeah, so five, so, yeah, so five piercing uh, plus four sneak attack. But, bonus action. Oh, no, wait. Just kidding. That's a charge. I don't have a bonus action. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that's yeah. my charge. I did not charge. So, yeah, that's my turn. Hey, it uh, still got extra damage. So I, I think you did charge since you ran straight towards him, right? Uh, 
Well, charge is technically hey, so if you move at least 30 feet towards a target. Okay. And hit it with a melee weapon attack in the same turn. So it wasn't... Well, I guess technically... Could have backed up and, and ran towards them. Eh, it is what it is. Okay. I didn't see that it was a charge. I thought it was just a regular bonus uh, bonus action. But I'll know that for next time. Yep. So. <laughs> That's my turn. You're, uh... You know, um, your Auntie Pim. Mm. Taught you the ways she taught of the me world. all... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she taught me all about that. Make sure that you... Pim. Big Pim. Oh, you just have to make sure that you <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. really make sure, like, make, make sure, sure that someone's at least within five feet of it at all times. Yeah, and, uh... you know, ha have the DM like <laughs> remind you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's watching. <laughs> oh yeah, they said they're gonna keep up. Um, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So you know, uh, like Se our, our friend Steph and Sam played in Wild Beyond the Witchlight with Jess. Um, so this is so uh, her her dads were characters in that game, mm -hmm. and uh, so so Pim is the character that uh, that Steph played. Um, but Luisua, or or, or Bones, do you have a like a offhand tech? Oh no, no, I think, oh, okay. All right, okay. All right, look, <coughs> excuse me, Luisua. Hmm. So, uh, Lucilla kind of saunters over this way to the steps. And then, uh, and she's gonna, well, say it with me, ladies and gentle frogs. Uh, Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! <laughs> right. Blast. Yeehaw! It's a good button. Zomp! Ooh! 22 will hit for. Eight damage. Uh, pieces of the crate are starting to fall off, and its contents are like littering the floor as it's like hopping around, like rah, 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 rah. it's like just this this uh, black slobber is getting Ew. everywhere. Gross. All right, Rivia. All right. Well, first, because. I need to move. Let's go. You so I want to move around here. Oh hi! Do, 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 do. Hey, up. Uh, and uh, because because Revia knows that she's still on the scavenger hunt and needs to do some performing before casting her firebolt, she's going to do a little dance and song that she <laughs> makes herself called. Na -na 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 -na. I am hot for you. My love is burning because I'm hot for you. <laughs> and it's terrible, but she casts fireball. Fire, not fireball, <laughs> but firebolt at the uh, mimic. Okay. Revia just casting fireball in the middle of the library. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would. The, uh, the, the clue does get crossed off. Uh, yeah, seven will miss, though. Wait, didn't you get a talking to? Shouldn't you not do that? <laughs> That means I'm gonna do it more. I need to learn about how my mind works. Although I could, I could see Revia being just crossing her arms. Well, they said I can't use any any yeah. fire, so I'm not gonna do anything. I debated that. Well, the book but like never never really much. goes into this, but I always imagined if the students are in danger, then they're allowed to, uh, you, you know, they're allowed to defend themselves with magic or weapons. Mm -hmm. Well, well, even though like normally it's like. You know, don't hit people with great axes when you're mad at them. Um, but yeah, that is a miss. I'm mad. It, it hits one of the other, like, uh, one of the other students that are kind of <laughs> cowering behind uh, another crate. It kind of catches the robes on fire. You're like, oh, get it up, get it up, get it up. Oh, I thought I missed. That was a success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, but Brick, it's your turn again. You have advantage. I don't uh, do I don't do flanking. Sorry. Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> that was my whole reason for standing there, there like yeah. that. Ah, oh, just kidding. If Joey wasn't boring, yeah. then he would have. <laughs> it's fine. It's you fine. have to work a little bit for your sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. all right. Gonna smack with well, a great axe again. Oh, I'm thinking of reckless attack too. Never mind. I don't think I have anything uh, yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. yeah oh no, a nine. Yeah. You like slip on some of that um, black greasy drool. 
and like no. your great axe misses. Ah! <laughs> Val ducks out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> but the mimic is going to take its closed tongue, try to wrap around Valerie. No, ew! Ugh. Ew, gross. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Oh uh, yeah, that hits. We were alone. All right, so you take. Uh, oh, we gotta roll for the damage. Okay, Please wow. Please be gentle. I'm level one. Please be gentle. <laughs> Sorry, <you're rolling. laughs> um. Well, this is the damage it rolled. Uh, you take ten bludgeoning damage. Wow. That knocks me out. I'm down. Yeah. There I go. <laughs> Holy shit! That's all my health. <laughs> yeah, it rolled maximum, almost maximum. Oh, I'm imagining the timing on this too. Like Brick just swung his axe, <laughs> yeah. narrowly Lotus. misses Val, and she just plummets to the ground. Yeah. So like you are a two Brick. So you are you are not dying. You are just kind of knocked. Yeah, knocked unconscious. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you're not gonna roll death rolls. Um. But yeah, you are down. Sorry. Uh, yeah, um, is it my turn? Is it is your turn? No, she's not down. Cure. Uh, I I I walk up to her and go cure wounds. Oh. She gets twelve HP back. Well, I only don't, get ten. Don't even so. roll. Yep. No, <laughs> you're you're down. I have circle of mortality, max. Yeah, I, I only, only have ten. You HPs. only have ten hit points. Is what she yeah. So you get ten. So you're back up to max HP again. Yep. I just walk up to her and go. No, 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 no. Not that today, my all. child. <laughs> no, 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 that won't do. Back, I just, I, lay on my hand. I literally, t I lay my hand on her and she just pops back up like nothing hit, touched her. That's for you, apparently. <laughs> Everybody's touching Val today. Yeah, what's up? This Revia <laughs> grabbed her hand, <laughs> patted her on the butt. <laughs> you said it wasn't yeah. your butt. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, tongue whipped at you. And, like, you fell down for a second, but you're back up again. Oh. What happened? Oh, is it my turn? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm gonna do the same thing with my little rapier. I'm gonna try and... <clears throat> I'm gonna try to, like, get it in its hinge. Yeah. To make it stop. Oh. 19. 19 will hit. And I, do I still technically get sneak attack? Oh yeah, it's um, yeah. an ally. A uh, now hostile, you're gonna hate me for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> hostile creatures within five feet of, it, of the enemy. Seven damage. Oh, I Four hate. Ro oh, I hate rogues. So. <laughs> I love you, Joey. <laughs> Tell no, me about I'm it. Kidding. I know that. Yeah, no, I know that personally. <laughs> I love you, Joey. Yeah, I, I you promise. <laughs> Does seven damage. Yeah. It's starting to splinter away the wooden parts of them. She'll also, for free action, look back at Ericos. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, man. All right. Lily Sula. Then uh, Lily Sula kind of taps Revia on the shoulder like, like, uh, hey, check this out. And then Lily Sula goes, it kind of kind of does her own rendition of the song that Revia just did. Oh, with a little okay. Bit of, a little bit of dance moves of her own. Just kind of doing it. And she throws a fireball too. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, nice. 14 hits. <laughs> For six damage. Some of the, and the then, like some of the greasy <laughs> slobber is like kind of lighting on fire. Like her fingers are still kind of smoking and she uh she does finger guns at Revia like, haha. <laughs> Revy, how do you respond to that? Revy, disgruntled, <laughs> walks right, right. Uh, we'll just say, right here, <laughs> leans her her head towards it, and uh, does her breath weapon attack right on top of the. On the, is, the it, is it a cone or a line? It's a line. Okay. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do AOE damage yet. All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What do I roll? A dex? Easy yep. 12. Uh, ooh. Uh, natural 1. You, this, this, um, mimic just 
you just set it on fire and like it's like <laughs> and like slowly the teeth recede back into the wood as it starts to burn and uh pretty soon there's like just nothing almost nothing left of it except burnt like burnt planks there's no evidence that it was ever a mimic but the, like plus the clothes inside of it are just all ruined now all their costumes Mm -hmm. If it's still smoldering, um, can Lily Sula just do like Ray of Frost to like cool yeah, it off yeah. or like put out the fire? <laughs> Whenever Revia does a, co a, a beam attack, it's like Shin Godzilla. Or, like, <laughs> it starts fire, then it goes like to the laser. <laughs> <laughs> this whole biblioplex is just full of burn marks now. Um, Sick. Yeah, so you have this a smoldering. Uh, smoldering planks of wood burnt clothing and like the uh the black icarish thing that was like spewing out of it and um like the pants are the uh the uh, suits are looking a little panicked um well after a moment um professor sharp beak now rushes through the crowd he goes i heard shouting what what happened over here Oh, oh my goodness. She kind of sees the aftermath of the of the battle. And I was like, what on earth happened here? We handled it. Well, that there, what looks like that there chest was a mimic, and it decided it wanted us for lunch. A mimic? And yeah, so we decided that it was, that we weren't on the menu, and it strenuously disagreed. We how, disagreed harder. How did a mimic get mixed in with the performer's crates? And she kind of bends over. It's like, I see you certainly took care of it and what wipes away some of the ash. Um, Sorry, I know we probably should have come to get a teacher first, but... It... No, no, there was so much chaos. We wouldn't have time. This could have seriously hurt someone. Are you... She kind of looks at Valerie, kind of sees that he kind of bruised up, and he goes, Oh, my dear, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be alright. Well, this is quite unfortunate. I'm glad none of you are seriously injured. I'm going to have to have a uh, a talk with the, um, the members of the Performers Guild to see how Mimic got mixed in with the crates. <laughs> She um, kind of kneels down, like look at this, um, at that that black goo, and says, "It sprayed this leather polish all over the place. So what a mess!" Huh. Well, no one was hurt. She kind of looks at Revia, and uh, looks Revia. like Revia is the one who actually took care Revia of it. Revia smiles. Yeah. Oh, um. Yes, we made an exception for use of no fire in the school, but it still stands, young lady. Not to, even if pretend not to light bushes on fire. But, um, she goes, I believe this deserves some points for Team Flump, was it? Yes, we are indeed Team Flump. Flump life? Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose the uh, performance won't be happening after this little kerfuffle. Um, suppose you should all make your way to your dorms. Um, everyone, everyone, I'm afraid we have to cut today's events a little short. Uh, congratulations if you completed your scavenger hunt. I hope you learned a little bit about Arcavios and the Biblioplex while you're here. And, what uh, prize do we get? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the discount is finishing clue five. It's like, well, I mean, I did. I did a song. It's like, well, you all earned little trinkets, didn't you? That's that's the prize. Oh, so so this is one of those you learn. Uh, you're the less at all. Uh, uh, suppose for um handling the mimic. We got points for the team, though, didn't we? Oh yes, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Might Hooray. even out what 
this red scale here, her little performance in the book gardens may kind of even out, I suppose. <laughs> um, but it's a personal thank you. Um, and on behalf of the the school, she hands you each one platinum piece. Thanking you. Oh, oh, holy! Well, more than I was expecting to get here from that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like ten gold, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, I just literally doubled double. how much gold I have. Yeah, I, I could re- buy a small village with that. Are you <laughs> <Yeah>. kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I reread that platinum. What? So, so I got it like a shiny new dollar. Like, what is this for? <laughs> money? I, I What's a money? <laughs> I don't see things in this denomination. It's way too small. I guess there is. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, but uh, after that commotion, um, the members of the drama guild like uh, kind of thank you. Uh, Quintilius looks very impressed, and uh, it's like, "Well, that's what I call drama." Uh, but acting, acting. He could have sworn that chest was alive, and like the person next to him was like, "It was alive, idiot." It's like, oh. Um, <laughs> But all the students look like very impressed at, at what you did, and like they they kind of like it's like oh so like oh, it's like well, what would cause you just to spring into action like that? And it's like oh you were so cool just swinging your sword around and throwing fireballs and well, what was they called an eldritch blast? Oh, I need to learn that one. That sounds cool. No That's one was impressed with the you. no one was impressed with the max healing though. Okay. Wait, no, no one. No. Valerie was it's okay. I mean, it doesn't. I wasn't doing for. I wasn't doing it to impress. I was doing. I was, it to... I was kidding. Um, some of the Wither Bloom students, um, were like, like taking notes. How it's like, like that that uh, the student got knocked out cold, and you just brought her back, no problem. It. It's all about timing, my friend. If you're right there, it's easy to bring them back, but the longer you wait, the harder it is. Mm. Trust me. That um, large, uh, large uh, dryad, um, kind of like gives you a slight nod of approval, but he maybe got the impress that, like, he just might have been outclassed. Like he was about to run in and save the day, and like, and like, um, heal up Valerie. And he just says, um, but I suppose you were quicker. <clears throat> he introduces himself as. Whoa! As Millie Thorne. He's so cool. Yep. Hmm. Oh, so, Frank. When it comes to when it comes to healing, yet yeah, it, you're either quick or dead. Something to keep in mind. For Suppose the I'm not the quickest. Well, I mean, it sometimes all just doing the effort is all that matters. I'm sure there are other things that you excel in. You don't have to be quick to be good. No, no, no. Gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. <laughs> Bryce gets it. Well <laughs> hmm. yes, I'll take that into consideration. Perhaps one day I could rival you. I welcome your I welcome your rivalry, but let's keep it friendly, shall we? Hmm. Kind of no need, no need up. to be unpleasant about it. Very well. You have a blessed day, sir. He's already on. Hey, of course he is. No one sticks around for the blessing. <laughs> I like that. Pimbley comes up. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <clears throat> I give him a side eye look. Like... <laughs> Everyone's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm still here. Yeah. Did, don't forget about me. He climbs out of the, the mimic. It's like, oh, <laughs> I got eaten and no one noticed. Oh. Uh, I give him a quick check. I give him a <laughs> He's not really once over. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the Bibbleplex kind of clears out as professors are um, uh, kind of cleaning up like the um, and all that stuff. And, uh, and Bryce, your, your, mm -hmm. um, your uniform is now just covered with this icker. As, as awesome. They want to try to, like, lick you up. Gross. Need to find somebody with some prestidigitation. Money oh, yeah, I can do that. Anybody have anything that can... I wouldn't know really much about magic. I don't know prestidigitation. Do I? I thought, is that the one that does it? It is, it yeah. is, but like, does Brick know that that is a thing? How much am I, I'm going to I'm gonna have to figure out just how much, how familiar Brick is with magic. I mean, you could roll Arcana and see what happens. Yeah, very average. <laughs> yeah. He I heard of he it maybe once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of walk, you get walking out of like the Biblioplex, you're a uh, um, it's like you're kind of worrying about your, uh, it's like the stain in your shirt before it gets cleaned mm. off. And, um, just casually, one of the students walks by. I was going to say, Revy is going to snap her fingers and clean his clothes. Because yeah, she doesn't mine would want be someone... all messed up, too. I actually got... Because she doesn't want someone in her entourage mm. to look like a slob. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Gotcha. Yeah, that be works. Before that happens, though, the student kind of walks by and casually, like a, uh... Second year student kind of walks by, says, "Hey, you got some Eldred's balm, um, so some Eldred's balm on your on your shirt, just kind of casually." And uh, want we take care of that for you? It, yeah, if you could. And Brick starts to like take it off and hand like so because he thinks he's gonna <laughs> no, get no, no, no. <laughs> It's like don't don't need, don't need to take it off. Um, what? Um, unless you want to be first years, want to show off your show off your stuff. <laughs> Which, 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 by I, I mean, I mean, magic. If you show up your, your magic, uh, yeah. Then, then he, so he's once he does it, he's like, oh yeah, okay, that how, makes sense. How about just for fun, let's make it one of the <laughs> one of the second year students that passes by. Yeah. Oh, so, Br so, so bricks. So that what I just determined. Brick's kind of aware, but it's not the first thing he thinks of. So yeah. That makes sense. So he was like, yeah, I guess you're going to oh. launder the, the share. That'll help. You can take me and show me where the laundromat is. And he goes, let's start taking off. And then she pressed the digit. He's like, oh, right. Yeah. Magic. <laughs> you're just standing Magic. like shirtless in the middle of the <laughs> library. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So this is a second year student wearing um, um, silver quill colors. Also black and, and white um, like yours, but a little more fancy. Um, she, she, she's like, oh, um, you didn't need to uh, take off your shirt. Not that I'm complaining, I guess. Oh. Um, but you know, we can. Um, we don't exactly have like a, a what do you say, a laundry mat here. Um, <laughs> how, how do you clean stuff? Well, it's like she takes out a small arcane focus and says a few words and and uh, does. How do you pronounce that spell? Precious. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Like, um, she's a little more quick than the first years. She knows okay. the spell a little more by heart. Sorry. It's like, oh, and that's how we clean things if we have, um, they say accidents. Um, so if, if you get any, any balm on you next time, um, you know, you can leave your shirt on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so old. <laughs> um, unless you change your mind. <laughs> oh, um, name's uh, name's Mina by the by the way. Brick, Brick. Thank you for the thank you for taking care of that mess. You can put your put your robe back on if you insist. I do. I mean, you know, <laughs> but I flex a lot more while I do it. <laughs> Joey, I don't want to flirt with my brother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm in the, yeah, yeah. I'm in the zone now. <laughs> she she, she, she goes, like um, I, I'm just, you know, since um, I was just here for my uh, my shift at the 
Oh, um, oh, wrong cafe. She works at another cafe. I was gonna be like, hopefully the cafe, because they need the help. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I was uh, gonna help out at the uh, at the cafe here, because uh, I actually work at over at the fire jolt. You know, but being the first day, they need some extra help. But you no, know, I couldn't. I was kind of preoccupied, so I couldn't uh, make it. So I hope they weren't too over overworked. But um, now everyone's uh, leaving, so I guess they don't need me. I'll have to make it over to the fire jolt sometime. <laughs> Saying, well, I'll be there. Um, I, I work the, uh, well, I'm not in class. I, uh, I have a, and she kind of, like, um, tells you her, her schedule and when to, when to meet her there. Nice. <clears throat> I made a friend. Yeah, so maybe you can you add Mina at a friend point. Because you, uh, quote-unquote, impressed her. I'm doing it. Mina. She's cute, too. If you can't get the, the hot goth vampire girlfriend. Wait, is that Erica Ishii? What? <laughs> Sorry. Mate. Probably not. Are, are probably you saying she looks like from... someone? She yeah. looks kind of like Erica Ishii. Yeah. Who's uh, who's that? She's uh, she's been on uh, like a couple Critical Role as like a guest. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if an artist over there, you know, made her uh, you know, um, um, made her resemble her. Um, what's her name? Uh, can you put a picture of her? Her oh, her name in the Discord. It is. Yeah. Well, regardless, um, the uh, big complex begins to um, begins to empty as uh, as the uh, oh yeah I don't know her um, as the teachers like kind of like clean up the mess and you will all get over to your dorms. But I was going to show you a map of the campus here. So the Biblioplex. This is the uh, central campus. So it's where you spend Ooh. most of your time before you join a college. Um, Barge Old Cafe. It's right there. The, uh, the, 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 the floating stone archway. That I mentioned in the first game. That's um, so where we all arrived, right? Yeah, you all arrived there. Um, popular tavern called Bow's End Tavern. It's more of a um, set of a place where people go to study. That's where kind of they unwind at the end of the day on you know, weekend weekends and stuff. Mm -hmm. What's the drinking gauge? Um, well, I, it's well, this is young adults. adults. Yeah. 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 So, probably 18. This is, like, fantasy. There is reference of that dwarf character drinking beer. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they never give ages. But, yeah, this is more college than, um, high school. High school. Yeah. Alright. All right. So, I'm gonna say I would that... definitely not feel comfortable playing a high school character, I can tell <laughs> yeah, so you that. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna say that the tavern does serve alcohol. Um, of course, if you're a dwarf, you're practically weaned off it. Sure. Off <laughs> Now, I am digging this hand-drawn map. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, each one of the colleges have maps like this. It's really good. <gasps> There's the stadium. Yep. Uh, but um, next, game, <laughs> next game, we'll, fin we'll uh, decide on some classes and um, extra activities. You guys may want to, to join or jobs before uh, the classes officially begin. Mm -hmm. um, like I mentioned, and I'll go over this next week, but like, I'm not going to RP, like, classes, really. Um, it'll be mm. more more like little events that may happen during them. Um, the classes are more for, for flavor uh, than anything. Um, <laughs> you were not going to sit here for an hour while you lecture us on the history of yes. something? Oh, okay. I was expecting it. I can do, Listen, if you need a guest lecture about Magic the Gathering, I'll tell everyone. I mean, we'll have our bonus episode. 
The exception is, is when you have exams. I will give a little information about about that stuff. Um, but we'll and, and I'll, I'll probably give a list of uh, extra activities and classes um, before next session, so you can look them over. Um, so when you can decide what you want. The only information, and you can decide if it's information I can have now regarding exams. Is it going to be something that we as players need to remember? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. It's all rolls. <laughs> okay. Then then I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to... I'm not going to have you write an essay about owlbears. <laughs> or you can, though. Yeah. I mean, you're, you can if you want to. Yeah, it's all, it's all dice rolls. Okay. And kind of, like, flavor it, like, how you're studying and how you're... How you're doing the test, stuff like that. Got it. Um, yep, but thank you, everyone. That was our first session. Hooray! Well, I had a Yay. blast. I had that was fun. fun. And Jess, I love rogues. I was, I was <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just they're so. They're so it's, just the, it's the DM thing. I get it's it. Just, it's just, they're just so good. Yeah. At doing lots of damage. <laughs> very, my, very easily. Yeah, my, yeah, my well, last rogue was so good, it ended up getting us all killed. Lucky for you, Joey, my damage rolls are always pretty low, <laughs> yeah. so, uh... <laughs> I won't be doing too much. Okay. Alright, thanks, everyone. Money. Alright. All right. Good, Good, Good night, thank you. See you next time. At, uh, at 9.21. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you love it. That was so good. Alright, bye, everyone. Night. Bye.